My no goodness. Peeking. Why are we doing this, Evertel? Uh, why are we doing this? Because we wanted to do a live podcast format. We wanted to talk to you guys. We wanted to talk to each other. Uh, yeah, we never get a chance anymore. We literally never get to like, talk to each other. The only anymore. conversations I have in real life are with my stream on Twitch yeah. or with my son, which is fine. It's nice. Like, he's three. So <laughs> it's mostly about hippos Poo. or his imaginary friend or like yeah. uh, how much, uh, how big my willy is, he said the other day. Apropos of nothing, by the way, <laughs> I, I just came into the, into the uh, kitchen. You guys were already eating. I was about to sit down for dinner. He was just like, your willy is so big and i was like you're right but a how do you know b never say that again please never say that again Ever. <laughs> definitely not to, and i know i've said it online so but like, oh, there you go. he is right the boy the boy's right i, I mean, mean what do you want you what know, do you expect? i'm not i'm not gonna contest to that in front of our <laughs> youtube audience but yeah welcome so this is a a wow podcast obviously uh the, what other what other name could we give it other than that? Um, and yeah, so this is episode zero. We're giving it a try. This is going to be our weekly. Yeah, I think, uh, I, think I think Wednesday would be a good time to do this. Wednesday, I think Wednesday is okay. a good time. Thursday is a big Reset stream day. day. Yeah. Um, if you keep looking at that camera all the time, I'm not going to half the time camera. you're not going to be looking into a camera because half the time your camera's over here. Oh, see, I'm still. I'm yeah, still exactly. The okay. best. I think the best thing to do is to look at each other. Should I just rather than the camera? Your eyes, yeah, exactly. I think that's probably probably the best okay. idea. Okay. okay, let's do that. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So yeah, what we wanted to do was we uh we decided that. Well, I've been watching a lot of podcasts on YouTube, mm -hmm. basically, like video podcasts yeah. with multi-screen setups, yeah. just like we've got right now. Uh, do you want to see another cool screen setup we've got? Oh, let's see it. When we want to check some news. Oh, oh yeah. Look, one second. Wow. I've got it on my Twitch channel right now. But Hold look, on. we can look at some news. Oh, yeah, that's what's cool. that? We can actually look at that later. Oh, we can live live on to. this stream because the idea with the stream <laughs> is that we'll be looking at some wow news up to the minute wow news and we were like wow i really hope for episode zero of the podcast we actually have something to talk about i know i know and lo and behold it turns out we did there's lots to talk about <laughs> there's today. loads of wow stuff to talk about in fact we were sitting eating our breakfast this morning what we like to do is on a day like today when our kids are in play school and both they're both them. in play. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. It's so nice. There's that moment where you kind of, you get taken to play school and you drop them off. Sometimes you get recognized as Talias and Nevertel by parents who are there. It happened. It did. It, it happened, happened just a couple of days ago. Something. Dropping our kids off into the, into the play school, turned around and an amazing, handsome, clever man was like, are you Talias and Nevertel? Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yes, we are. <laughs> um, and I was like, do you want an autograph? He said, no. No, no I mean, that didn't happen. No. But um, and then you get you get uh, away from there, and you're kind of like, hmm, this is lovely. I suddenly realised I've been with my kids for the last twelve hours, like putting them to bed, being there for them when they wake up, yeah. like breakfast, dressed, and then you're just you can just decompress a little bit, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's a proper work day. We we were having a proper work day, and we've had a proper work day this morning. Uh, setting this entire setup up. I say we, it was Tally. If you could see the technical magic going into this, you would be shocked and awed and in love with him even more than you are now. But here we are. <laughs> well, there's lots of stuff wrong. Okay, so, so <laughs> let's before we even start talking about WoW, yeah. let's talk about the stuff that's wrong with this entire podcast setup. Okay. Things that we realized when we set this up. Right. One, there's a big door there, right Massive in the middle door. of our shot. When we have like our shot, of both of us here, there's a really ugly black door, which when you're streaming from that setup, it's quite cool because it's kind of where your head is oh, yeah. and it frames it everything nicely. When it's, it's set up like this, it's horrible and rubbish. Um, so we've put this kind of, <laughs> I don't know, wood this wooden, wooden cladding here. I think it looks kind of good. Stuff's all the rain. I think I it looks it. pretty, I think it looks pretty podcasty. Yeah, really absolutely. Podcast um, and uh, so that's one thing too. Incredibly hot in here. Oh my God. Like so hot it's right not now. not just me. No, exactly. We could put the fan in the middle of the room. I think, I think that would, that would do it. We and can do that know, if it starts getting too hot later. Let's do that. And then we can get a really nice like wind effect in yeah, our hair. It would yeah. be really good. We're just streaming through OBS like usual. So it, it yeah. should be like the noise cancellation and everything should be on like that. Uh, two, okay. the camera setups, I think it's pretty good. Like this one is pretty good okay which one is this good? one of you is pretty good this one's pretty good because i'll be looking at you most of the yeah, time well, exactly. so you'll get That's like get my this I did, my, I my could good go, side I, could go to film I think school, man. i know exactly what's going on <laughs> the one problem we've got and i'm sorry to tell you this uh you're, you're gonna hate this in fact yeah we can see comments we can see comments uh but obviously you know we, we're kind yeah, of yeah. we're not following them in the same way that we would like a twitch stream or something like yeah, that exactly um the one problem we've got is this camera at the moment yeah now this is your stream camera ah. um and the problem is 
It's just over. This camera is over. I know you love it. I know you love the color settings and stuff on it, but uh, the noise is just like on the on the picture and everything. You can see oh, behind me the the white is peaking. There's literally nothing we can do about that. The camera's just passed its sell by date. It's, it's been no, it is. I'm really sorry. I'm you really will, really sorry. It's go, happened on your live streams as well. You, but you didn't notice any length to it. because you never check OBS. You camera. didn't. You didn't notice. No, <laughs> um, but I didn't uh, yeah, but like um, it, it does peak behind me here, and you'll probably be able to see a little bit of noise. So apologies for that. And another thing with the setup here, we can absolutely see your microphone just at the front of the screen as well. And my hand. Yeah, yeah, it is <laughs> what it is. Uh, but that and that I don't mind. That I quite like. That's nice. That's got a kind of a yeah Pickle yeah. Oh God, I'm sweating so hard. <laughs> um, and I I think that yeah, loads of noise on the light, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I spent um, oh and, and uh, uh, there's there, yeah, there's just nothing I can do about it, unfortunately, oh, yeah. on the camera itself. So we are going to have to buy a new camera. Or, I told you we were going to have to. I think you we didn't just need know. to play with the settings a bit. No, no, there okay. are no, there are no settings. It's too old a camera. Oh, like the kind yeah. of set, like it's got ISO and it's got stuff like that, but it's it's got nothing else. I promise you, I've just spent four hours playing with the settings. All there's right, no changing it. Camera. It's why we bought new cameras in the first place. But you loved it so much I did. when we started. It was I like, do. no, I, I I'm going to stream and I'm going to use my camera. I love that camera. It's amazing and it makes my skin look incredible. Evie, I've got good news for you. Yeah. Your skin still looks incredible oh. because your skin is incredible. Oh, thank with you your new tattoos. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a fun. That's a fun thing. Yeah. No weekly, weekly reset over the weekend because Evertel literally went to Bristol on a train through the train strike. You didn't give no shit. You oh, scab. And you were no, like, I tattoo terrible. me. Give me tattoos. <gasps> I did. I went to Bristol. Two, you and got felt, two tattoos. Exactly. Two in one go. My first ones. It felt. It felt like you know, if you're getting one, you might as well get two. <laughs> Like why would you why would you just get one for your first one? I don't know um, because one of them is a massive one on your side. Yeah, possibly. Uh, yeah, so I went all the way to Bristol, which was felt felt appropriate, right? Like Pirate City, right? People getting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the pirate, yeah, the pirate city. Yeah, right, it was like it was. A, it's what know. everyone knows Bristol as. It's like Bristol, the pirate city. Yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. why they all sound like pirates. Yeah, totally. That's the Bristol. Yeah, accent. Blackbeard was from Blackbeard was from uh, from Bristol. Was he? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, you know, it felt right, so. um, and I got some uh, amazing. Really cool tattoos, which I am really excited to share with you. Are you gonna Are you gonna be showing them off? Yeah, I might. Well, I've got one here, which I'll, nice. which I'll talk about maybe. And the, the other I one's a bit one. risque, so you might have to little, save that one. Yeah, for I might have to save right. that one because it's just like on my. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so we're gonna have a good patron <laughs> chat tomorrow, I think. Yeah, and maybe I'll save it for those guys. Uh, because we have to take this opportunity to talk about Wow while we, we can, do. because um, from Thursday, well, no, Friday really, and then the whole week afterwards. Some hardcore Baldur's Gate playing is oh. what's going to be happening yeah, in, in this world. Um, <laughs> uh, Christopher Monis, uh, Dragnossi of Need, one of our big, big um, Twitch stream uh, oh. viewers. Thank you with... Uh, I, what is that? Is that a super chat? Is that what that is? Yeah. I guess we'll come to those like at the end or something like that, but it's just awesome to have oh. twitch friends here yeah. as well Familiar um absolutely faces. yeah the other problem with this setup as you might have noticed is like i'm kind of doing everything i've got a stream deck here <laughs> i've got like the the camera switcher here yeah um and lots of wires running into my pc which is which over is there over there <laughs> yeah yeah totally um, um and we're looking at chat and so you know, yeah yeah you don't need to worry about chat don't worry about chat you just oh, concentrate on no no i'm not having you look at your phone all the way through the uh all through the podcast okay, that's incredibly rude you okay, save that fine. for sex night okay fine okay. i know you like it <laughs> i do that's um okay so yeah exactly so here we are and you know we thought it would be really cool we have the weekly reset which is scripted you know mm -hmm. and we have our kind of like law speculation videos and things like that we have our twitch stream we do. which is on the face of it kind of gameplay and stuff like that on and the face of it lots of chat but you know the game is running in the background and we, and we you're play usually and, talking yeah exactly yeah totally <laughs> exactly yeah and saying like completely uncontroversial things yeah that's really straightforward that's something about this stream something you need to know uh. no controversy no controversy at all no, not from I'm me here. you won't be catching me doing no controversy I'm no here. I'm here not here no 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 it's all the good stuff here no just just wow news all the time which just as we all know goodness. is completely uncontroversial oh. the whole time oh god I, oh. um and so we were thinking yeah like um wouldn't it be great to have a podcast where we come on talk about wow news and just not even just wow news necessarily just just wowness just so wow. for example let's wowness, pretend, I like just that. for a second that yeah. there hasn't been any wow news this okay, week in the okay. last couple of days um, how's wow for you right now? This is the kind of thing that we'd fill, right. you know, the, the, the podcast. Oh, and one thing we definitely want 
no setup here because just getting set this set all set up was enough yeah but we really really want uh guests on here yeah. uh, who'll be coming and joining us via like stream and oh, or via like uh yeah. zoom and stuff like that i guess so good. kind of more like a traditional kind of like online podcast that sort of thing yeah exactly you know like yeah. having having guests on and and sort of speaking to them but yeah we will always be here like this like doing this. our thing right yeah exactly so let's pretend just for a second that um you know, there has been no WoW news. No. We'll get to the actual yeah, WoW news no, in just a second. Been oh, how's, how's WoW been for you this week? Yeah, WoW's been all right. It's been a bit quiet. I've been stuck on like level 67, getting my hunter back up. Because <laughs> you've abandoned your evoker. Oh, you know what? I, I flip flop. Like I, I, I went back on my hunter for a bit and Evertel, the, the OG. I mean, she's not the OG. There was an OG before her. But um, my night elf hunter felt really good just to be able to like bounce around as as hunters do and uh yeah it felt great but then i felt extremely weak because i was still leveling up and then so i'm just i've just been running some dungeons if you think you're weak when you're leveling up wait until you hit max level oh I know. <laughs> you'll be absolutely screwed oh and this week is literally everything is deterring me from being a continuing to be a hunter anyway we'll talk about that more <laughs> when we talk about the non-existent news but um yeah so it's yeah it's been all right but then it's actually given me like a more appreciation of my evoker so i've kind of bounced back to my evoker a little bit yeah because that's exactly it you were like yo i'm gonna like i'm done with evoker done. i hate being a dragon down so with, down with this, this, yeah. it does not scale no <laughs> <laughs> and like you know i'm gonna go back to my hunter and you're doing that and then you're like oh Oh, is it just leveling? I know, I was like, really? Oh, I miss my I miss my Evoka. Yeah, my Evoka's not even like that. my gear's still pretty low, but I'm still just like blasting stuff. Oh, you know what what really like helped me get back on my Evoker properly? I uh I changed my appearance so that I look more like so that my visage form looks more like my night elf form. Right. And then I went from, this is not something I was expecting to be into, but I went from the absolute beefiest possible, um, like dragon form, like, you know, the, the, the big chunky body with every bit of armor, like spikes here, spikes there, spikes, like just all over the map. And like, that was just, that, that was my, that was, you know, that's what I did. And I went to like the skinniest dragon form. With like really minimal armor. Wait, that's the one we're not allowed to like. You're, exactly, not, suppo exactly. you're not supposed to like I know, the skinny I know. dragon form. It's supposed to be the one that we hated. And, and I was I'm... like, no, give me the chunky boys. Exactly. And now I went from being like a beautiful, like big red, like buff dragon person to being like a skinny, like white, <laughs> like almost armorless, like kind of slithery dude. And I actually much prefer it now. So I think wow. I just I just needed a bit of a change. Anyway, how has your week in WoW been, Tommy? Oh, mate, it's been uh, good. I've been working on a video uh, which came out yesterday, which yeah. was the um, uh, oh the Druids for All video. Yeah, man, I've been wanting to do that video for ages. Oh, I thought yeah. it was going to take me like five minutes because I'd be like, yeah, well, how hard can it be? Just huh. say, hey, next patch got a feeling be quite good for like you know everyone to have Druids for the first time, and then I can just have fun thinking of Druid forms. Mm -hmm. it took me ages. I know it did, Pally. So I know. Long. It took me like <laughs> like three or four solid days because i was just going through going models so i was just hard, going yeah. through like uh the model viewer going oh yeah i think that would be good oh no that wouldn't be good oh yeah that would be good and like it was just oh god it killed me so uh yeah we're quite behind on like sponsored videos and stuff at the moment but that's fine yeah, fine that's okay and and wow wise um yeah I'm, I'm kind of like doing are you doing time rifts and things like that are you are you engaged in the content right now mm, i'm doing some time rifts again i just i did a bunch of i like them and uh, you know adjacent to them to do some leveling up with my hunter and then i do them a bit with with my uh evoker as well like yeah i mean i'm there i'm not like going hard on it but i'm enjoying do it do you have things that you are like planning on collecting like properly from the vendors and things like that or like, do really. you have kind of a, is I there swear, nothing you really want i don't have i don't have goals right now so you're literally just doing it yeah just because just, just like, as, like a kind of auto reaction yeah, like yeah, yeah. there is content i will do it yeah and if and you know I, I like accumulating, <laughs> and, you know, and when that you know the clock strikes, you know the hour, and I'm like, oh yeah, let's do it. So um so yeah, so that, that's kind of where I am at right now. Wow. Okay, because yeah. I I am doing them, yeah. and like my my plan at the moment is to get to uh, max rep with Soridormi, mm -hmm. um and get the title. I really want to kind of like complete the content yeah. of 
1015 and and be done with it. So I'm I'm running like uh the aspects every every uh week like the the mega dungeon because mm-hmm. that's a really good way of getting crests to upgrade all your gear to max. I'm running like uh guild raid every week as well, although that's got to the stage now where we're kind of done with the raid. Quite, we kind it? of yeah, we kind of jumped into mythic and done a little bit of that. We killed three mythic raid bosses well done. last time out, which was amazing. Yeah, like I know everyone's going to be like, "Oh, that's nothing. That's easy peasy. Any old scrub can do that." But for us that's like a big deal you know like the hardest part is not even killing the bosses the hardest part is getting 20 people together yeah and not like 15 which kind of makes it undoable for us Mm -hmm. not like 25 because then we'll do something else Mm -hmm. you know like and just about having between 18 and 20 people so that you can go into mythic (laughs) and it's like 18 it's quite hard and 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 like 20 is okay and when we had 20 we went in we killed uh three bosses great yeah really really enjoyed it really nice um so i really want to be done with the content though so i want to like um more max out my rep and when i have maxed out my rep i will sit and count my uh paracausal flakes because yes. I have not spent any paracausal flakes. Neither at all. Am I. No, not Neither a single I. one. That's why I'm saying they're just accumulating. Yeah, because like the thing is, you know that when you do a like time rift, there's a really good chance that something's going to drop. Yeah, and you're like, well, I I don't think that it's something can drop when when you've already bought it or whatever. Mm, I think mm-hmm. there's like you know protection and stuff there. But at the same time, you're like, well, why would I? spend these until i've got enough to buy everything Mm -hmm. and like you know so what i'll do is i'll get to max rep and once i'm there i'll be like okay now i'm let's see if i can stop doing these i'll count up my power causal flakes and i'll see if i can buy everything that makes sense as a strategy yeah totally yeah yeah yeah. and it will be oh i've got all the mounts now because it was bugged for so long. You get to a certain point in Soridormi Rep, mm-hmm. and uh, you know how you get those things that drop where it's like, guarantee yourself a reward yeah. from the next yeah, yeah. like uh, thing that you do. And it's like, okay, um, you get to a certain uh, rep level with uh, Soridormi, and uh, it gives you a, a choice where you're like, your next time riff will guarantee you a mount mm-hmm. or a pet, mm-hmm. and you choose. I was like, well, a mount, obviously. But it was bugged, and the buff did not disappear Uh-oh. for like three days. Uh-oh. And this is like a common, like a common bug, apparently. It's been happening for loads of people. So every time I ran a time riff, which I was kind of like, I was doing that thing where I was like working on videos and stuff like that. And yeah. then, but I, I would keep my eye on the time and on the hour, every hour, mm. I would log back in and kind of like just do a quick time riff and stuff like that. Um, and so I was getting a mount every single time. So I got all the mounts, like, in nice. a day because well um, they just all dropped one after the other and yeah. to the extent that every single time I ran a time rift I was getting like the gift mount that you gift to the opposite faction uh, and stuff like that yeah, but, yeah, and yeah. then it stopped giving me those even even though the, the buff was still there Dang, and the thing was it was actually annoying in the end because I got all of the mounts like there was no reason for me to like keep on doing it mm-hmm um, but I couldn't even click the buff off me because I wanted to use the other buff to guarantee other rewards. <laughs> like I was I was done with mounts. It, like no more mounts could drop. It was a useless buff and it was so bugged I couldn't even get rid of the uh, rid of the buff. It was horrible. Um so yeah, anyway, fixed now. No rewards drop in now. Um uh, yeah. but yeah, that's my plan. So um plan is to be uh, finished with that and ready for um ready for whenever wh- whatever the, the, the content in, in 1017 is. Um have you played Played any of that on the on the PTR at the moment? I have not. Have you? Yeah. Uh, so I've I've jumped in, and so the main thing, uh, the main kind of like repeatable content that's going to be there mm-hmm. is the um, uh, the uh, dream surges, which is what they're called. Yeah. Is that what we call them now? No, that's what. They- <laughs> It's like waking you up in the night with one of my dream surges, right? <laughs> yeah. Before I'm off for my great push, like. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh parties. man, love being married. It's yeah, so good. I mean, uh, but like Dream Surges <laughs> is, uh, you know, there's Druids of the Flame. I don't know why they're called Dream Surge. I don't know why the Emerald Dream is suddenly really important. Mm. I don't know why that no would be important. No, 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 exactly. no I idea. have no idea. No, no but um, so there's uh, Druids of the Flame and they're kind of, it's standard world events. Mm-hmm. So they're jumping in. It's like a bit like Time Risk, but all over different parts of the map. And you fill some bars and mm-hmm. there's a boss to kill. Uh, in the meantime, they happen like every half hour. And when they're not happening, you can collect, you can fly around collecting like green blobs of the Emerald Dream that are hidden, usually under like high up archways and doors. So you you drag them riding around and get in them. And then you spend them at a vendor who gives uh, a buff and you get to vote for the buff using your kind of like 
currency of green splodges that you've picked up. Yeah, okay. Um, and uh, like some of them are experience gains. Some of them are kind of like cheat deaths. Some of them are just like more damage or whatever. Um, and anyone who's in the zone gets the buff. And it's it's like a region-wide buff, I think. So the whole of Europe will have the same buff. I think that's what it was. Okay. Um, it's hard, it's one of those things that you need a lot of people taking part of it on, on, on the PTR mm -hmm. to kind of make sense of it, really, um, and, and see how it goes. And obviously there aren't a lot of people doing it on the PTR. And they were kind of shit when I did them. Oh, I did no, them in the first really? week when they dropped, yeah. And... Uh, you know, it's it, again, time rifts weren't that great on the PTR either because you know, they're fun when there's like a hundred people doing oh, them, yeah. and when it's just you, you're just killing one mob at a time sure. and like watching that bar kind of go very, right, very just, slowly, just very, very <laughs> slowly, like, and 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 then the boss okay. comes and destroys you, so <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, it's it's hard okay. to know. Um, they drop full 15 loot, uh, and which I, I guess can be upgraded. Um, uh, loot tokens as well, so you can choose what slot they go into, and stuff like that. So it's going to be big catch-up stuff, okay. basically, you know. Sure. Um, and maybe there'll be like the Eastern Kingdoms Dragon Riding Cup and stuff like that. I Sounds don't know. about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, okay. like I, okay. I don't know. Uh, yeah, obviously all the uh, the PTR realms are connected, um, but I think it, I, I've got the region-wide thing from. Uh, the blue post about dream surges. I think. Okay. Uh, I think. I think that's been said that it's region wide. But I. I know. So yeah, that's the PTR. Um. Huh. And and otherwise, you know, how would you say that your your hype levels for ten point one seven are? Because I would say that ten point oh seven Return to the Forbidden Reach mm -hmm. was possibly like one of the best kind of not major patches that WoW has kind of like ever had. Yeah, that was like big hype. People were super excited for that. I know I was. And yeah. It and was, you played it loads I as well. Did, I did. I played I played tons of it. Yeah. So so 10.17 is kind of not as hype. I think that's because where we, I mean, we're getting this like uh, this patch cadence and like these rollouts and it's it's kind of insane how quickly they're coming. Um, Are you in that they're coming too fast? Like no, group. no. Says, I, that group exists, Evertel. It does. And I think I've said something like that previously. I don't think they're coming too fast. I am I am grateful. Um, but yeah, I think I'm I've uh I'm I'm not like super, super hyped uh for the next one quite yet. But maybe that just reflects the fact that I'm kind of in a like I'm in a happy plateau at the minute with with my with my WoW gameplay. I mean I'm really excited for Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> it's kind of taking up a lot of my brain right now. So. Yeah, no, totally. Every time I walk down the stairs, I, I like I see Evertel uh, just <laughs> reading Baldur's Gate guides, basically. Yeah, just like 5e just, guides going, yeah. um, oh, uh, like yeah. just very quickly because the world wants to know. Okay, sorry. What are you going to play in Baldur's Gate? I'm going to be a wild magic sorcerer. That's going to be so fun on it's the It's going to be, exactly. And that's the thing because be and because we're not playing tabletop. Like even if I wipe the party, uh, we just we just start over from a save point, which I'm really so thank goodness. I'm probably gonna be a, like a half elf, maybe like a maybe a half like elf drow mm -hmm. for a little bit of flavor. Thought about playing a tiefling or a drow, but then I don't want to be like hated <laughs> by like I don't want NPCs to just hate me. Like I don't want to experience that on this uh, run through. I want to be like charismatic and likable. Mm. And uh so yeah, that's me. And then what are you gonna play, Tally? I'm playing a bard. Oh god, yeah. I've got like so I played like a halfling bard in our kind of game that went on for like two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Uh which unfortunately got abandoned when we moved. Um yeah. and and put on hold, but it's kind of been abandoned. Yeah. And yeah. I, I've got business. I got unfinished business with my bard. Yeah, you do. So I need to take them through like a proper adventure. Uh -huh. I they're, they're being reborn. It's mm -hmm. like an alternate universe, mm -hmm. Penryn. Yeah. You know, so it's like the Penryn verse. And but I, yeah, I need to be done. I need I, to be done with the You uh, need some closure. Yeah, I do, I do. We, I need to be done with that, that character. campaign in some in, in like an absolutely insane part, and characters were like falling apart, and we were all having like really big arguments with each other. Like yeah. in game, like it's just these tensions were so high and people were like gaining power but being irresponsible and it was it and was it was wild. a campaign that our a dm had been working on just privately for like by years, himself for years and, and years like and years writing this incredible world yeah and so yeah it's a shame that we've had to stop it maybe one day we will pick it up again but like yeah i'm with you like i have some like i need some closure so i'm playing i played a uh, i played a high elf wizard so 
moving to Sorcerer a bit. I think she's going to be kind of similar, have a similar vibe. Uh, yeah, I'm with you because I was like, oh, maybe I'll play like a tiefling warlock and do something really like edgy and fun and cool. And I'm like, no, I think I need to go with what I know and like what's familiar. And uh, yeah, Penryn and Siri need to have a little uh, little wrap up. Are you going to call her Siri as no, well? I'm not, not going to call her Siri. No. Okay, that's the end of the Baldur's Gate okay, talk. It's over, no it's more over, Baldur's no Gate more. talk. This is a wild uh, podcast, yeah, yeah. obviously. Uh, but like ten point one seven was uh, ten point oh seven was I thought brilliant. I loved like going around all the different islands, mm -hmm. oh, the island, the and island. killing all the rares yeah. and stuff, and doing it on all my orcs, getting all the tokens, getting them their transmog as much as their tier sets yeah, from yeah, yeah. from like uh, normal and heroic vaults, so I didn't have to take them into that. Yeah. Really, really cool. And then like ten point oh had the same uh, ten point one. Sorry, had the same kind of gameplay in Zara that Caverns. Mm -hmm. Ten one uh, five has that kind of gameplay again mm -hmm. with time rifts and mm -hmm. things. Uh, you know, like events, right? Yeah. Uh, and ten one seven has it again with these dream surges. Dream surges. What? What? Are, are we kind of done with that gameplay now? Well, Is clearly there, not. It keeps uh, well, no, not, but I mean, like I, I don't mean Blizzard. I mean we, you know the, the player players. Base. I mean yeah. we the players. Like, are we done with that shit now? The thing is, I do it. Like I, I do, I, I will do but it. You, you've been doing it less in ten one five. Right, what I'm saying, yeah, are, are we right. getting to like a saturation point of of that kind of? of yeah, thing. yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't unless there's some like an insanely cool incentive for doing it, which isn't. I mean, like catch up gear, really good, but. I don't know. Well, I mean, you're not a big alt player either, are you? I'm so, not, like, I'm you know, not. it's not something that you need. And no. for me, it's great because I play every class and I want them to get their transmogs yeah. and stuff like that. And it's just fun playing different kind of rotations yeah. and stuff all the time. And I like that kind of mindlessness about it in mm -hmm. a way. But for someone like you who, who maximum has one alt on the go, yeah. most of the time you don't. I mean, there's not, there's just not that kind of. No. motivation really uh no there isn't although i do like a gaze longingly at my <laughs> all of my alts like on my character select screen because like i've got some good ones that i haven't touched since like legion yeah, yeah i've got a million like drawn eye priests and like shadow priests and stuff i would I argue you've, if you were ever going to do anything about them though mm -hmm. you'd have done it in 1007 you'd have done it yeah. in like 10 1 10 1 5 yeah, you're right you're right you know like i feel like it's clear that one day you don't care <laughs> Oh, I do care. One day I will pull them out of the vault. You start. And I will. And they're I will. as far as the vault. They're in terms of uh, forbidden reach already. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> One day I will I will retrieve them and I will give them the love and gear that they deserve. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's the kind of conversation we would have yes. uh, if there was no wow news to me yeah. yeah, no, i would i would call that like you know the kind of the catch-up conversation yeah. the chill conversation but now evertel i've got a deal for you oh, do i want to hear it i've got a really good deal for okay, you let's hear it i will do you want a cup of coffee i'm good no you say yes oh yes right okay i okay. will sell you this cup of coffee uh-huh for five pounds okay um, sounds about right yeah yeah but i know you don't really want this cup of coffee yeah so as well as the five pounds for this coffee uh you'll also get uh, a thousand traders tenders i'm in sold in instantly boom oh now in, th in this scenario Evertel, right. are you buying the traders tenders or are you buying the coffee like and that's the thing how many like oh so here's you you can only buy two corsages right yeah, you sure. No, no, and you get both you with get one both. purchase. Right, you get both. So, okay, let's let's just like right, be very so. clear what's actually going on here. Yeah. Right? Uh, right. Okay. This is episode zero. Well, Things can go wrong. Zero. Let's have a look. Let me change to this screen oh, here. Oh, hey, I like. Okay, this and one. now the screen that I'm like uh, doing this on is incredibly far away. It's on oh, the other yeah. side of the room. There we go. Okay. Is it not that one? Not that one. Not that one. I think it's gonna be uh -oh. that one. Which yes. Okay. Okay. New corsage pack available. 200 traders tenders plus two wrist accessories right <laughs> even even wowhead put the 200 traders tenders yeah. before the wrist accessories now let's be clear here okay okay i'm a huge huge fan of the trading post yeah it's massive great. fan of trading post. i think it's like one of the best things in the game yeah i'm a huge fan and i've always said with the caveat mm-hmm Big caveat, big caveat that they don't sell traders tenders in the shop yes so um how do you feel now that they are selling traders tenders in the shop well i mean there's there's a difference between like literally selling them in the shop mm -hmm. and 
functionally selling them in the shop. And this is obviously functionally yeah. selling them in the shop. Because Ian has a costus mm -hmm. would disagree with you. Ian has a costus would be like, no, you're buying the wrist transmogs and mm -hmm. the, the traders' tenders are just an added extra on top. Mm -hmm. What would you say to that, Avatar? I would say I think this is a this is an interesting philosophical issue here. Is that what you'd say? Yeah, there, that, were, there that's is. That's a lot more yeah. restrained than I was expecting. Yeah, yeah, because um, who's to say that I'm not buying the traders' tenders with the corsages on top? You know, I I I get it. Um, I find it really oh, it just really left a terrible, terrible taste in my mouth, and <laughs> just like oh, or just. Oh, it made me feel really bad when I saw this, especially with the double whammy of having all of those kind of class sets announced to be coming out. Well, we'll be coming to those. We will be coming to those. So you got that. And then the announcement of this, like, okay, first thing, there's no way to uh, go over the tenders cap, is there, right? Is there a cap? Uh, I, I, believe, I, I believe that the 200 tenders do not count towards your cap. Okay. Now, correct me, chat, if I'm wrong, but um, the way I, I understand it is that it's not like, oh, I'm 200 short of my cap, so I'll buy these tenders and I can't then earn an extra 200 in game because that's filled my cap. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's the case. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure we've had clarification on that yet. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm waiting for someone who's bought the corsages yeah. and also kind of like found that out in game to yeah. kind of tell me. Um, but yeah, you're right. W what would be preferable? In that situation, would it be better if they were 200 tendies on top of your cap or 200 tendies that get you to cap? I, I really don't know. I would just rather that they weren't there. And the <laughs> Okay, the 200 tendies adds towards cap. Towards cap. Okay. Yeah, so okay, like so if you've already hit cap, right. I guess you don't get the 200 tendies. Is there not like... Or do you get them after you spend? Is that maybe, not a something? bit of a an issue though? Yeah, of course it is. Like if you're... Because like, let's be real. Okay, so here's, here's how I see it. Okay. Okay. For all arguments of, you know, are you buying the corsages or are you buying the uh, the tendies? Obviously, you're buying both. Mm -hmm. Of course you are. It's like ludicrous to suggest that, you know, the, the tendies aren't kind of factored into the price of the corsages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the way I would put it is this. At a generous estimate, 60% of people who buy that bundle mm -hmm. won't ever equip any of the corsages like they'll sit there in their transmog tab unused forever but a hundred percent of people that buy the bundle will spend the tendies that's a that's a good way of putting it and like so yeah. so in in my um in my view mm. You, it's more about the tendies than the uh, than than the corsages yeah, in this case. Is. Of course it is. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just two hundred. Okay, it's not a huge amount. Okay. Okay. So so wait. So they don't count towards the, the cap. So the tendies don't count towards the traveler's log. Right. Um. So you can earn all of the tendies. This is what I'm hearing in chat right now. You can earn all of the tendies in the traveler's log and then the 200 are extra. So it's not like you can you can max out your traveler's log and then if you buy the corsages, I guess, you know, they wouldn't be added. Like right, it's, right. it's an extra 200 it's an extra on top of what you would okay. otherwise be able to earn in game is what, I'm, is what I think. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm getting from the chat here. Okay. I mean, it's it's like, it's a, it's a small amount. And this is the thing, I think this is what really um, felt weird about it because it's, okay, it's five bucks. Which isn't nothing, but it's less than, you know, other things on the shop. Um, it's two hundred tendies, which is just two hundred tendies. Yeah, okay. But 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 this is the thing. It's like uh the introduction of this to me suggests that there will be things that you get more attendees for. So right? a lot of people are pointing to uh, an interview that came out because, you know, sure. the, the, the kind of time frame on this, uh, which I think it's important to kind of, you know, acknowledge is that the traders tenders were data mined, you know, like the, the, the amounts mm -hmm. and like the little piles of coins and stuff. Oh like that. yeah. I remember seeing this. Yeah, totally. They were data mined. Everyone data was mined. like, Oh, yeah. they're going on the shop. Oh, and, yep. and you know, clever people like me and Mr. GM who's in the chat were like, hey, Mr. Um, GM. 
they're going to be part of bundles. You know, it's going to be you're buying something in the shop and mm-hmm. and you'll get it included. There'll be Twitch drops. Right. They'll be included in like uh, expansion releases and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 that is what Ian then kind of clarified was going to be the case. I don't, I don't think we'll ever get to a stage, or not at least not in the foreseeable future, where we it's like literally. I'm going to buy some tenders. I know functionally right. this is the same thing, yeah. but so, um, and then uh, once those were data mined, everyone was talking about it. Mm-hmm. We did get this, oops, Daisy. Oh. We did get this interview uh, and this was our uh, games radar, I think. Yeah. Um, and uh, this was Ian Hazacost. It said, he said definitely that there were, are no plans to sell traders tender as a standalone product. Mm-hmm. However, the team does think it makes sense to offer various amounts of traders tender as parts of various bundles, mm-hmm. such as expansion deluxe editions. Um, now, I think everyone kind of accepted that. Mm-hmm. And, I think there's a really specific reason why Ian Hazacostis used the deluxe expansion edition as an example. Mm-hmm. It's because it's huge. Yeah. Like it's a major purchase, right? Course, and and, yeah. and I think one of the main problems with the way this has happened, the first time it's happened that traders tenders have been included in a bundle, mm-hmm. I would say it's like the worst case bundle scenario. Mm-hmm. So like best case bundle scenario, which Ian Hazacostis knows, yeah, which is why he used it course. as the example in his interview, right? Exactly. Best case example is that um, it's it's part of something really expensive where you get loads of stuff bundled in anyway. Uh, yeah. So like you're buying the deluxe edition, mm-hmm. you're getting a cool mouse mat, you're getting like the uh, a book, you're getting like some some random like pin badges and Bits stuff. And yeah, exactly. Okay. You're getting like in-game kind yeah. of mounts and stuff like that. And some tenders on top of that doesn't mm-hmm. seem so bad. No. Like I don't think anyone is going... Oh, I wasn't going to buy the deluxe edition, but you you get five hundred tendies mm-hmm. with it, so mm-hmm. why not? Um, like that's not going to happen. Yeah. And I felt like that's how they would start it yes. before kind of like so. I I feel like you know being a WoW player and a WoW consumer, a lot of the time, you know, Bobby Kotick and the rest of Blizz, and this isn't this isn't like the devs. This isn't the people who actually make the game. This is the people oh, no. who own the game and actually make the money from the game, Absolutely. which is like the CEO class and stuff like that, right? So they're like, yo, got to do this thing to make loads of money. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, tendies is a great way to make money. People will buy this, all mm-hmm. right? And what I was expecting when I read this interview was I was expecting to be a really happy little frog. I was expecting Aww. to be a frog in my little... Pan, heard, yeah. you know and you know and suddenly the water got a little bit hotter because they added tendies <laughs> to like the the tuscar void tuscar's attack right. 11.0 right. deluxe edition like next expansion <laughs> it was like 500 tendies i'm like mm. okay water got a tiny bit but imperceptibly hotter Just- so I didn't notice, man. And then, you know, a little bit into that expansion, they did some Twitch drops or whatever and, and mm-hmm. you know, getting tendies with that. And then and then then there was like a amount mm-hmm. that they released on the store, which is like, you know, 25 bucks and some tendies on 500 that. tendies. And yeah. I'm like, okay, but I like obviously I'm paying the 25 bucks for the mount. Like the tendies is a sweetener, mm-hmm. but okay, mm-hmm. so the water gets a little bit hotter again. And it's imperceptible. I don't even notice. And then maybe they add it to some pets on the store or transmog stuff that costs like fifteen dollars, right? Right. And and you're like, okay, okay. Well. Mm-hmm. And then you know, eventually you get to the stage where you're bundling it with, let's be honest, bullshit, yep. which is like what those corsages is, where basically most people will be buying it for the tendies. Yeah. And like at that stage, mm-hmm. you know, you're boiled. Yep. You don't even know. Yeah. And. That's how stuff usually works, not just in WoW, but in in like games and stuff in general. You know, the drip, drip, sense, drip, yeah, the slow boil. Yeah. And I feel like with this corsage thing, they've jumped straight to, they've just chucked us in boiling water. Yeah. And the thing is, when you chuck a frog in boiling water, it's going to go, ow, what? <laughs> like you, you, you turn the you turn the heat up gradually. You know, it's never going to notice, yeah. you know, but they didn't do that. No, they, didn't. they didn't do it properly. They boiled that water up and Kotick and Yabara were like, chuck that frog in there, man. Mm-hmm. And so they chucked the frog in there. And now the frogs are like, ow, shit, ow, ow. that's really hot. Ow. No, stop. Don't do that. And and so, like, I've got to say, they just got greedy too quick. I think we could have all accepted it if they'd done it over the course of, like, if they'd let the trading post go a year without selling tendies, maybe. When, when did if they launch? just when waited. Did it launch? How many months has it been? Like, it's, five? Yeah, five, six months. Yeah. I know. And it just, yeah, it, it happened so fast. And I, and it really is, like, it is truly a micro 
transaction. It's five dollars. Like it's you know it's it's a and that's what's really galling. And the thing is, and with these new sets dropping, right? Right. Uh, you well, can't, uh, you, you can't separate these two issues. Like what? It's like four hundred for the transmog, five hundred for the weapons, just for one class. That's nine hundred tendies right there. And like, say you're just short a few. You're short maybe two hundred. Like it's going to be so much easier to just drop five bucks than buy a massive mega super deluxe edition of the Void of the Tuscars, you know, 11.0. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like you're what well, you're going to you're going to buy that without thinking. But like you I don't I it, it doesn't feel good. I'm yeah. I'm I'm you know, I, I I'm just trying to be diplomatic the, uh, about this. Yeah, the, the <laughs> argument that we're not selling tendies as part of a bundle is like an added bonus on mm -hmm. top of a bundle that holds up when it's for more expensive items and, and like in a way, actually, like genuinely, I said this on stream yesterday, it would have been more acceptable if it if it was included with the new transmog set that's mm -hmm. on on like the new kind of watcher set, mm -hmm. which is on the shop now as well, yeah. because that's 15 bucks and it could even be more tendies. It could be like 300 tendies, but you'd be like, OK, that's not so bad. Uh, yeah. It's just the fact that it's it's like this really cheap transmog, which basically is is incredibly niche. And like it's just we all know and it's impossible to think the devs don't know, oh, yeah. that people are buying that for the attendees rather than for the transmog. And it would have just, are. I think it would have just been, it would have left a better taste in the mouth for the player base mm -hmm. if the first time this had happened. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not saying never do it even. Exactly. We're just saying for the first time. Exactly. Like, you know, make the argument that it's just included bit. and you, no one's buying it just for the attendees. Make that argument a bit better. Yeah. And I guess like, you know, subs being what they are, I guess subs are down and, and wow, I've got to try and monetize in every respect. Mm -hmm. And if it's if it's the difference between the game existing and not existing, then it's hard to argue okay. against yeah, it, right? Exactly. But also that's not how companies work. <laughs> You yeah. know, like Blizzard is making billions and billions and billions of dollars every year. And, you know, it doesn't matter how many billions of dollars they make. They've always got to make more, not to keep the game going, but so that certain people can get loads yes, of dollars, you know, exactly like, you know, their what... reward for owning the product is, rather than working on it. This is what the company exists yeah. for at the end of the day. But I'm not being controversial. We're no, not talking not, about you're that. Not. No, I think these are, these are, these are just kind of straight facts and they are unfortunate. And it kills me to log onto the internet and see the WoW community like in a state over it, you know, because it just like man i didn't need this I want people making very strong arguments in the chat right now that yeah. they do actually want the corsage ever tell okay you know and what? the corsage is big news you know what? it's what they've been waiting for forever to be fair for for like some people in kind of like transmogging and rp more like focused communities and stuff actually i i, I totally agree because they are kind of cute but i <laughs> i they're they're nice, but I, I, I think uh, there, there are going to be people who are just like, I'm a little short or like I've blown all my tendies on other stuff. Sure. Now, you know, we've been given a roadmap saying like September, oh, October, yeah. uh, October, November, December, we get we get these sets. Uh, um, well, yeah, we're going to come back to the sets in just a second. Yeah. Um, but I just want to uh, have a look at these, uh, right. the the Watcher uh, sets as well, because this is this is these just been added to the um to the the shop as well yeah so you've got the corsages for five bucks or, or you know your regional equivalent mm -hmm. and you've got um these what i referred to in 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 kind of uh when they were data mined as conquistador sets yeah slightly they're to me they're very bfa so kind of, so these yeah. sets by the way yeah. are one of the the reasons why i've got the theories that i've got of course about next expansion oh i know your theory like the whole like... kind of new world kind of yeah. exploring new territories to the to the west mm -hmm. and and like mm -hmm. conquistador Forbidden and sea. yeah exactly stuff like that it was the data mining of these sets mm -hmm. that kind of sparked that in my mind mm -hmm. especially the other one like the diplomat set and you know, yeah and do you yeah. know what the naysayers are saying ever tell, well, tell the me, naysayers tell are saying hey now that it's on the shop don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel stupid, uh, Taliesin? Because that's proof that it's got nothing to do with the next expansion. No. And I say fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. I say your exact words. Don't be stupid because it might cost fifteen dollars. Yeah. But that is a leveling set, if ever I saw one. <laughs> that was going to be my question to you, Tali. Does this feel? Does this feel like a thirteen pound set to you? And of course, like people are going to buy it, and I maybe it. Dude, you know what? Maybe I won't. Okay. Maybe so, I won't buy this one. So so here's the thing, right? I probably will buy it. And you know, it, it's they've already said that um because I think it's cool. I think it's really, really good. It is pretty uh, cool. I, I love stuff like that where it looks like the coat is kind of going underneath the belt and, and going onto your legs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I'm I'm very cheap. I I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, but I can't lie to you mm -hmm. that 
the chances of me buying it are greatly increased by the fact that I know it's going to come onto the uh, trade, like the medieval kind of uh, mm-hmm. setup that yeah, came on yeah. earlier. They've already said this will definitely be arriving this on the shop. Uh, uh, sorry, on, on the, the trading traders. post yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, at some point. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, and, you know, that was the beginning of the end for me was when they did that with the Meneve set. Because mm-hmm. when you know that is appearing on the trading post, mm-hmm. there's that thing where, okay, I could wait for it to be on the trading post and spend my tendies on it. Mm-hmm. And it'll probably cost, what, probably about 500, 600 tendies for, mm-hmm. a, for a set mm-hmm. like that. So if I buy it now, mm-hmm. I am functionally saving 500, 600 tendies yep. when it does roll into the shop. So yeah. Which is the equivalent of, what, about 10 to 15 bucks, oh, yeah, right? Exactly. Isn't and it so, funny how that works? Exactly. <laughs> and so functionally, it is buying tendies. And everyone's yes. like, no, Tally, you, 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 you stop it. Stop it. You're being, you're being like you're being down on, on everything. Yeah. And um, But yeah, no, that, the writing was on the wall then for me when they did that but with you, the new set. And it's the same with this. Like I buy that set and somewhere in the back of my mind, it's like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to yeah. have more tendies than I would have if I, if I, you know, waited mm-hmm. for it to come around at the trading post. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. And I mean, it's impossible not to think this way because all of these things are happening at once. They've all, they've all been kind of announced at once and uh, we're doing the math, right? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, 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 it, it makes sense, right? Yeah. Um, I know there's no back piece in that transmog. It is a leveling set, man. Like yeah, it's got it is. It's kind of uh, uh, nice 2D, 2D chest. Super cool. Um, like I, I would expect for a, a, a store transmog, at least a 3D chest piece. Yeah, or like thigh, thigh we, armor, right? We or have the bits. technology. I know, we do, we do. We, we have it. It's there. Uh, <laughs> people pointing out that you can buy gold on the store. Yeah, I'm, I, this is something I'm not getting a, a conversation in right now. Okay, maybe this um, is for another episode. <laughs> yeah, probably. But so the the whole thing about um the the WoW token, yes, there are problems that arise with the WoW token. I, I think that some of the problems that arise with the WoW token, uh, for me, the main ones are that while there is max level gear, uh, like um, BOEs on the auction house, mm-hmm. uh, while there is max level crafted gear that costs mm-hmm. a lot to craft and to, to get the ingredients for, yes, having gold uh, and the WoW token adds a, a pay to win element to the game, in my opinion, that I don't like. And that, you know, I, I feel like the way to get rid of that is to not have those max level things like for gold, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, Rather than the WoW token, because the WoW token has loads of really good sides as well, which I think overall are incredibly consumer friendly. Like, like it or not, a, l- a huge proportion of the player base plays the game for free because of the WoW token. Yeah. Like they, they pay for their game time in gold. Mm-hmm. Like they buy Diablo 4 with gold that mm-hmm. they make in WoW. Like, and I think that's awesome. I think that's incredibly like consumer friendly. Mm-hmm. Whatever bad things happen because of that, I think I think the WoW pro- I think most of the problems that are caused by the WoW token are caused by people buying gold. Mm-hmm. And people buy gold without the WoW token. So right. in that sense, they're not really caused by the WoW token. But the good things from the WoW token can only happen with the WoW token. Right. So okay. what I'm saying is I think the bad things from the WoW token, they like and you can look at classic before the WoW token happened yep. as proof, right? Yeah, yeah. They still happen without the WoW token. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Arguably even more. Mm-hmm. But the good things from the WoW token can't happen without them. And I think on balance, and it does, it does depend on what side I get out of the bed in the morning, but on balance, I'm in favor of the WoW token because it lets people play the game for free. And sure. that's awesome. It lets people it makes literally win. everything on the store. Mm-hmm. So that isn't just available for money. That's available for in-game gold as well. You can buy that mm-hmm. with in-game gold. Sure. Loads of people will. Sure. And n- pretty much no other major MMO has that option, you know? There's stuff on the store. Mm. If you don't get it when it's in, sometimes it's in game for a bit and then mm-hmm. it's on the store. But there's never an option just to buy it with in-game gold right. or currency okay. like on the store in other MMOs. I think I personally think that's brilliant. I I, I think that's wonderful. So sure. whatever. But that's not what we're talking about. No. Um. So <laughs> the other thing about the uh the whole kind of we're going to call it the trading post debacle, right? Yeah, let's call it um, that. At the moment is because for the first time people feel like very functionally these tendies have been put on the shop now Mm -hmm. and it just so happens that that coincides with an announcement that these class sets are going to be hitting the uh the uh, the trading post as well which are really expensive yeah they are aren't they so so uh right it's it's 400 for 
Four hundred fifty for the sets, and then five hundred for the weapon sets that come with it. Yeah. So if you want to buy the, uh, the so say like you know say you're a hunter main, mm -hmm. and it's the month where the hunter stuff comes on. Uh huh. You're looking forward to that? No, no, I'm not, Tally. And it's in December too. I think the hunter one is like one of the last ones to come out in December as well. So so not only is it just, oh god, it's just. Maybe I'm missing something with this set because clearly there's some like 3D elements that aren't that aren't being. Well, well, can, we, can we hold off you having a tizzy about the uh, hunter set just for a moment? Sorry, but can we can we stay on the matter? Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> like, you you baited me. You've already woken you up five times in the me. night crying about I the hunter know. set. I'm, I'm just not sure. Like, <laughs> like, ah. Yeah, no, exactly. So we've we've been announced these sets, and yeah, they're expensive. Yes, yeah, so if you, you want to buy the hunter them. set and the weapon set, which are both released in the same month, mm -hmm. then I mean that's 950 tendies. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of tendies, right? That's a huge. To the extent where, basically, functionally, no one will be able to buy all of them in a month. Mm -hmm. Unless you've been kind of saving up all your attendees since day one. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when these come out in September and the first ones are the Paladin and the Priest and the Rogue, mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to buy the transmog sets and the the weapon sets for all of them in one month. It's right. just not going to be possible. If you are going to get all of them, you're going to have to wait for them to come round again. When are they going to come around again? Who knows? Uh... And the thing is... Wouldn't it be very useful in yeah. this scenario to have some extra tendies to play with? Yeah, what with? if I just drop five bucks and I get some more tendies? I mean, 200 tendies isn't going to buy you no, one of those I know, sets. It's not going to buy you the weapon set. No, but it's, it's going to help. It might right? get me there. Every yeah. little helps, right? Like I don't, and that's the and that's the thing having this announced at the same time. It's like, whoa, really? Because yeah. I can see this. It just didn't play. help. I can did just it? see this playing out. Yeah, you know, yeah. and. So right, so it's it's funny that they've started from small and in theory will be going to big. So like two hundred tendies and we'll probably start listing bundles with more attendees. Oh yeah, for sure. Right. So I'm surprised that they didn't do them as a Twitch drop first. Uh, I I thought like guaranteed yeah. the first time you kind of they did one for like if you own Dragonflight you can get extra five hundred tendies. Right, right. Like yeah, nice ones. Sweet. Thanks. And I was certain that the next thing they were going to do was going to be Twitch drops. It's mm. like you get some bullshit help, maybe a corsage. Oh, you hey, get a corsage like and <laughs> 200 tendies as a Twitch drop. And I feel like that would have been a really good way of kind of like easing us into it. Yeah. Just gradually boiling that water, right? So are you telling me you're happy to be boiled, Tally? Look, if I don't know about it, there's not much I can do about it. And the thing is, here, here's the thing. Like, let's let's stop being a moaning mini just for a second. No, like, of course. I'm getting cool stuff. I'm not going to stop playing the game because exactly. of this. We're this not isn't like a well. line in the sand for me. And Just, that's why I'm so angry about it. Because if it was a line in the sand, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even be talking about it. No. I just wouldn't have turned on the camera today yeah. and I'd just be playing <laughs> I mean, like a different said, game. Exactly. Simple as that. But the fact is, it's just like, it just, Dragonflight has been win after win after win. Yeah. Like dub, dub, dub. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like a, a, it's like a a, a a club in Hackney. It's just <laughs> dub all day, right? And and awesome, happy days, fantastic. And then and it, it, it's like it's not a big deal. It's it's actually just not a big deal. No, it's not. But you're just like guys, it's please so, it's just like be a good. Needling, and, I know. And the thing that's upsetting about uh. it for me, and it's what you were saying earlier, sure. right? The thing that's really upset me about it is that it it creates a discourse in the community. Yeah. And the discourse was, hey, Dragonflight's awesome. It's all right. Like, yeah, it's really good. It's a, it's a great expanction. Having a and good time. Yeah, we're having a splendid time. And the devs have really taken this on board mm -hmm. and they're really doing this mm -hmm. thing. And okay, so sub numbers aren't back up yet, but you know, like they're doing everything right at the moment. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly everyone's talking about, and do you know what's happened? Because of this, mm -hmm. like I went on to Twitch today, mm -hmm. Onto Twitter, onto X, shitter, uh, zitter. I don't know. Now? What do we call it now? I don't know. So I went onto our social media today and people are like, Final Fantasy shop is better. Guild Wars 2 shop is better. Oh no! Like, and, and like, just like that, instantly we're back into like, which MMO is better? And it's like, no. I don't care if you like WoW better than Final Fantasy 14. I don't care if you like Final Fantasy 14 better than WoW. Everyone knows the Chads play all of them. Like, everyone knows if you're a Chad, you play every game and you don't give no one no shit about no it either. Tribalism the here. real Chads, no. they play games and when they see someone else having they're fun like, with their game, yeah, they're like, you, yeah, yeah, brother, you. I don't dig that game, but I love that you dig it. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> and yeah, you know, like, and, and that's right. what the Chads do. And so I just want, I want Chad discourse back. Me too, me too. You know, because we got to Chad discourse. I, we, we were, I felt like we were almost there. It felt okay. I mean, I get that people are like protective and it just, yeah, but it is just like, it just has like kindled the, the fires yet again, yeah. you know, in these discussions. And it's, it's always a bit disheartening to see. But yeah, I mean, people are right to be disappointed by it. 
I am. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. You can't help but be disappointed by no, it. exactly. Because, right? yeah, like you say, I'm not quitting the game. Yeah. But I'm just like... <laughs> no, because like in the grand really? scheme of things, this isn't a big deal. No. Um, and I don't know, maybe there's an element of like people are champing at the bit to have something to moan about, right? I know like content creators are. Like yeah. the game being this good, mm -hmm. but kind of undramatic in a way, mm -hmm. is not great for a certain kind of creator it's not and good maybe you clicks. class us with that like i don't care because i'm like okay, i'm a yeah. i'm a player first and foremost yeah, right yeah. and we do we do okay thank you patrons we do fine okay. thanks to you um but like uh you know especially through bfa and shadowlands the the main type of content that you would see about wow mm -hmm. was aghast content mm -hmm. complainy content yeah. critical like critical content, content whether it sure. whether it was like deserved or not yeah that became the thing and yeah. i think a lot of people got worn out by that yeah. for a start as well exhausting. yeah yeah totally um but a lot of a lot of people made like a name on that and made a mm -hmm. career out of it in a way yeah um and i think that, that you know don't blame anyone for that we i love a bit of drama as well and, mm -hmm. and creating content but it's you know, like there has been a lack of that in Dragonflight. I know there has. You know, there. Um, and so I feel like there isn't. There is a slight element where people are just dying to have a little bit of drama again. Yeah, and I don't blame them for that either. To be honest, drama's fun, right? Right. Well, you know, and it's also like you know, wow, hitting the uh, the headlines again, like the 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 like esports and like online game magazines again, right? You could see it as as them just just farming a bit of a uh, bit of interest in in Dragonflight and wow. I mean. God, I mean, when you start thinking this big picture, it's a little bit depressing. But yeah, like I say, I'm not, I'm, I'm not quitting the game. I'm just, oh, I'm just sad. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> angry. I'm just disappointed. I'm just exactly. Right? I'm just, I'm just disappointed now. <laughs> right. So oh. that that I think we've made our that feelings about that clear. <laughs> but I want your opinions now, like completely separate from any of the tendy issues. Oh, right? just just straight like, up on the armor. Straight up. Oh, I want your opinions on these sets. Okay. Now, do you know what I'm angry about? What are you angry about? <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I didn't no. want to do that. No. Okay. But first of all, <laughs> A, what do you think of the fact that they are just uh, like shoulders and belt and helmet? Uh, I mean, I can live with that. It's, it's not a set, the, It's not a set. I know, I know. It's, it's, not, it's, it, it's not a set. It's an embellishment. This is you exactly. going into Claire's <laughs> and this is you getting a new dangly for yeah, your wrist, yeah, yeah. right? I know. A new corsage. Oh, what do you think? Hey. Um, so yeah, uh, so that's disappointing because to be honest, it's the chest pieces that I often struggle with the most to match with other transmog stuff. Like, you know, like you find a good pair of shoulders and like whatever, but that I always struggle with like finding a good chest that matches my shoulders. Um, so yeah, so, uh, it doesn't feel good. I mean, uh, evokers, like you don't even like, you're not even going to really see them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you no. Know what I mean? well, like, are you kidding? Those are the three bits that do show on a I know, but like, then you hide them because then, then uh, anyway, that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> no, right. they're specifically okay. like the bits that show on Evoker. They, are, I know, they are the bits that show on Evoker, but then it means anyway. So I, uh, I think they look. Uh, these look great. Love these. The, uh, you're gonna wear the priest one, aren't you? Yeah, for sure I am. Yeah, like one. absolutely. And and the, and the thing is. Um, the way I see it, I think embellishments is, is, is the right thing. We were talking about this on Twitch yesterday and, um, the thing that I, I like about them is yeah, obviously it'd be better to have full sets, mm -hmm. whatever, but for the classes that I know, and I have big collections of transmog for, mm -hmm. the way I see it is that these are all kind of designed to fit into existing sets. Mm. So like with the paladin and, and in that color scheme, it's kind of easy to see how that would fit into the judgment set sure. right oh, so okay. your Classic. your paladin is right. wearing the judgment set yeah. but you've been wearing it for like 20 years right so it, you're like oh I can, i'm just gonna swap out the helmet and the shoulders and the belt with these mm. things which feel like they're designed to do that mm. so it's kind of like you know okay. when we bought our car yeah and you're like should I get the leather seats? Do I want to upgrade the seats? And you know, you know, like when you buy something, you have options to swap things out yeah. for like other versions of yeah, them, yeah, right? Yeah. I feel it's kind of like that. That's what these sets are. Yeah, That's yeah, what so, these embellishments so these are. are the yeah, seats. yeah, totally. So with that, with that um free set, I know exactly that the, the the Tide Sage set that it's gonna fit with, okay, right? Yeah, so yeah. like I I can instead of just wearing the normal Tide Sage set, I can swap out the helmet and the shoulders and the belt and i feel like they fit so naturally mm -hmm. into those sets and as an idea i quite like that you know mm -hmm. um I, I i'm not sure about the rogue one because i don't play much rogue um so i i'm, I'm in favor of that i think that's kind of cool um my problem is 
if we take a look at the weapons that come with these sets, yeah. They're just... They're a different colour. They're just completely different. So, no, well, yeah, exactly. So they're awesome. They're clearly brilliant. And yeah. I love that it's one designed for each spec. I think that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, but the the Paladin, like, armour is in red and gold and black. Mm -hmm. And the weapon is in purple and silver. They're not going to match. Which means you're going to spend one. 950 yeah. tendies yeah. getting them. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to be able to use them together. No, but surely that means that there's going to be a red and gold armor set coming in the future. Well, there definitely is. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and a weapon set coming in the future. Oh, yeah. And a purple uh, armor set coming in the exactly, future. Yeah, and yeah. we know that because it's been data mined in Wowhead yeah, already. Yeah. And, you know, because these sets have been, we've been seeing these sets for a while. Yeah, we've seen the stuff. Um, I was kind of hoping there were going to be Mage Tower rewards. Oh. Or at the very least, kind of like, you, or, the thing is, right, I think that it's class specific stuff mm -hmm. is the best it's possible reward that you can possibly have in wow I still, I, I still just my hunter just exclusively like uses mage tower appearances like for those yeah. and stuff like they're just the best but i think like any you know there's, there's, a, there's a lot of discussion in, in shadowlands about you know making people do your content mm -hmm. and the rewards that you kind of fix and and that's why people hated tour gas was because i had to go in there kind of like exactly three times <laughs> a yeah. week to like get the very important legendary currency that i needed to to make my legends and stuff mm -hmm. like that and that didn't feel good and i've always said if you want me to do your content any content you just invented a new a new gameplay thing for your new patch mm -hmm. give it some quest specific rewards and i will class do that specific, content yeah. Yeah. yeah sorry some class specific rewards yeah. Uh, spec specific rewards like oh, these yeah. and I will do that content I don't yeah. care what content if it's good content like Mage Tower all the better but I don't care I'll do any content you like Yep. I'll do it all <laughs> for, for that for those weapons right there yep. it'll be amazing and I'll love it um so yeah we know that there is a purple version of this paladin set for example mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but what that means is at some point on the trading post you're gonna get the purple version of this of and the are. red and black and gold version of these of course and you are. i know that functionally it's the same but personally i would just prefer it personally i know mm. lots of people aren't gonna give a shit and lots no. of people aren't gonna care about this and they're gonna say yo tally what's wrong with you uh but personally i would just prefer it if it was you know uh, the oh, same, the same, same color, color of the armor as, as with the weapons. Well, because you know, when the uh, purple paladin set comes out, you'll just be able to straight up buy tendies, won't you? Yeah. Well. By then. <laughs> no. Don't say. By that. then. <laughs> don't say that. That's Sorry. a horrible thing to Sorry. say. Sorry, I would um, never. I, I didn't mean it. I take uh, it back. I think uh, the uh, battery has gone in the thing which is on your camera. So you, can ah. you can you just uh, keep giving your opinion of these sets? Yes. Like so the the weapons and stuff are great, but again all the colors are wrong. Yeah. Uh, there you've got the uh, the the death knights and yeah, the uh, that's a demon hunter. And the druid. Can, I, can yeah. you spot what sets those are designed to be used with? No, I'm not even remotely familiar with those those sets. But um, <laughs> you don't play any of those classes. no, I don't. I don't touch them. But they look they look legit. They look so good. Um, I mean, the the druid one is like so alliance war fronty. Yeah. It's 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 pretty crazy. Um, yeah. And yeah, I mean, I I love the demon hunter. This is like almost enough to make me want to play a demon hunter. <laughs> um, yeah, and the Death Knight is is like is super sick, but um, but yeah, I mean, and so this is September October. Do we get November and December? Uh, yeah, 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 we did. Um, so uh, then you've got and the weapons are great. I love all of them. Yeah. The Druid weapons in particular, stunning. I know what you so mean good. though when you get like that kind of war fronty style set of armor with this like leafy weapon set. It's just like. Well, and if the colors were if the colors were the same, you'd be like, so yeah, like, no, you know, but they're like, so clearly completely different. Yeah, like, yeah, and it's just, I've heard arguments that it means that it, it kind of people don't feel like they need to buy the armor and the weapons for the same class right. in the same month, so they could buy like the transmog for one, the weapons for the other, because they don't mm -hmm. match anyway. Sure. Um, and the ones that do match should be coming later on. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's what people are gonna do like they don't want to miss out on the different colors right unless there's one color that you just maybe. really don't like and yeah, you're maybe. like yeah i don't know it depends on how wedded you are to your main and okay so the okay. uh the the um 
I think everyone agrees that the, the druid one is outrageous. The monk. Uh, sorry, the monk one is yeah. incredible. Yeah. Uh, what month is this? November. And November's a good month for That's these. That's a good month. Look so at good. Look at this Mogu set. It's Look so at cool. And then the, the Warlock one's incredible. Warlock. The, the, Warlock, the Warlock shoulder pads have um, succubus and incubus faces Amazing. on different shoulders. Uh, so cool. Love it. And the, uh, the Warrior set is quite obviously based on the, uh, the vanilla set. Yeah. As well, the tier set. And the monk weapons. Oh my gosh. The Look fan. The, the flame fan. The fan and the like the beautiful pink like flower. Yeah. <laughs> so good. And the like the staff is amazing. The staff is brilliant. Like any kind of thing with like a dangly like flail thing on it is, uh, is like legit. Um, I'd say the brewmaster one's like the least good one because it's so similar to like their artifact sure. and, and the mage tower sure. stuff. But it does have a pot of tea hey, on the top with a dragon a spout. Dragon. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. Okay, I that's, love it. That's and yeah, the good. lotus that's a lotus, right? Uh yes, looks like Yeah, it. that's a lotus for the healing staff. But the 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 knifey the knifey like so fan. Edgy. Oh, it's so edgy. I love it. It's so cool. It's got like that kind of that dancer kind of look, right? Yeah. Uh yeah, that is a a, a fist weapon, not a shield yeah. for druids. Lots sure. of people uh, mistaking that. Yeah. Um and uh yeah, like just so so good. The warlock weapons I'm a bit more meh on. Yeah, they're personally. fine. There, I mean, yeah, yeah. The, the, the staff uh, is cool. And but. then the warriors, you've got this incredible... Uh, and so the, I think maybe this is why I'm actually upset about the color schemes on these yeah. is because the red and gold uh, and black and white mm -hmm. version of this, mm -hmm. of this shield here yeah. with the roses Ooh, is incredible. Yeah, and like the most Gilnean thing you've ever seen. So good. I like, love that. So I love hot. that like Worgen face. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. So good. Um, And uh, it's it's cool in blue and silver. It's fine, yeah. But um, yeah. The the data mind one, which is the other color, is like, ah, oh, so good, so good. And then you've got the uh the evoker one, and you can like you can see that that this is designed to be swapped out on like the current evoker tier set, yeah. From Abarus, right? That's like a, a good example of that mm -hmm. a very very kind of race specific shaman set, yeah. Uh, that's gonna fit with the uh, Antorus set from Legion, and also like the leveling sets from BFA stuff like that. And what do you think of the um what do you think of the hunter stone? <laughs> just like oh, just just put me out of my misery. I I like I it's just such a sh again, I feel like I'm missing something because I'm not seeing it in 3D. Like clearly there's a beak that goes forward um and uh it's been modeled on the human female, which is like always kind of like the daintiest like for for showing off armor. Man, it's just really such a whammy. And sorry, wait, we get we get three sets to choose from in all the other months. Am I am I right? Um, oh yeah, so this year? this is four. So, so this is just the one you're just supposed to not get because if it, <laughs> it's like they've I put it yeah they put it in December <laughs> with 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 three others. So clearly that's the one that you're just supposed to never get. Because you're busy getting the other three. Yeah, totally. It's like yeah, yeah. It's like they looked at the hunter set and they were like, hmm, we'll put that in with three other sets. Just so like. Why is it like this? And to be fair, the, I'm not crazy about the Evoker set. It looks ex it, it it looks exactly like so many of the sets we've been getting. Well, well and, 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 and Evoker's in a funny place when it comes to transmogs because yeah, and uh, same with like yeah, I, ha I have that well because it just right? it like, looks just, just like kind of standard Dragon Isles kind of questing stuff. Yeah, because it looks cool. Well, yeah, and amazing, it looks awesome. But, but the thing is, it's like yeah. everything is Evoker themed. Yeah. Everything is Drakthir themed. Yeah in this expansion to the extent that it makes stuff designed for Drakthia mm -hmm. seem like really normy. Exactly. And, and like, yeah. Because we're so used yeah. to seeing it now. We've been spoiled. <laughs> well, to be fair, a lot of it is really good. But yeah, you're right. Like that, I, this looks exactly like the stuff that I already have. I mean, same goes for the Evoker set. Like I'm not super excited about it because I have stuff that looks very, very similar to yeah. that. And I know that people won't really be able to differentiate it from the stuff that that already exists out there. So yeah, actually, yeah, those two go in the bin, and then you you just get you just get mage and shaman. And, and like I say, I, I I don't say any of this got to like be critical of, of like designers and no. stuff. I think it's always okay. it, it's it, it you know these decisions are are made for so many reasons and so many different players are like. At Look, work man, here. I just, I I think I'm sorry. I'm just disappointed. Uh, well, I, I know, and like I know it's a meme that sorry. that hunters always get terrible transmog sets. Yeah. And I think it is a bit of a meme and I, you know, I, I don't, I'm not a hunter main, so whatever, yeah. man, don't take my opinion seriously, but I mean, yeah, I mean though. Yeah. And, and you know, Hunter is just traditionally, it is a meme at this stage for, for, for how hunters are treated when we get transmogs. It's always like, oh, and everyone, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, so 
I think personally that that picture doesn't do it very much justice. We haven't data mined that one as far as uh, I know. So exactly. we haven't seen it in like 3D. I want to see it in 3D. I want to see what's going on in the helm. I want to see it like on other races. And I'll, you know what? To be fair, it'll probably look cool on a night elf. Like, you know, I can I can see I can see some other hunter transmogs that would work with this. But again, they're like my less favorite ones. The ones that are kind of like feathery and leathery and just like. <laughs> Just, just, just ah. Okay, so this is meant to be an eagle, right? I, I'm guessing this helmet is supposed to be an eagle. It's the little green eyes well, that are killing me. It's got like, like it's a... got like kind of like fleshy giblets that come underneath Stop. your chin, and so no. it makes in that picture it makes it look like a a turkey. It looks like you've got turkey neck going on, right? Because ah. it's got like these fleshy pink bits going underneath your chin <laughs> and it, it's it just i'm sure in real i'm someone said yesterday like see it on a tauren i bet it's gonna look great yeah like you you put that on a tauren it's gonna look awesome uh, like you know pointing forward and stuff like that and i i don't know yeah, maybe it will and with big shoulders and yeah. big shoulders yeah and again i think this is just suffering from uh yeah putting being put on the human model <laughs> man but why 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 and it's not just me hunter i heard a collective like just sigh of 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 uh like re resignation from all of the hunters <laughs> yeah yeah totally as this came out <laughs> so those come out uh, uh well those ones are december that's your christmas treat that right hold on so which months are they coming out september october yeah yeah they start next month and that's the priest ones uh and yeah then, then for four months okay. we've got so many classes in the game Evie. we do don't we got a lot of people to get through those are the hunter weapons the gun is cool they, yeah, at least they've updated the gun did you see the gun that they showed the first time it was like one no. of those it was not that one it was like one of those like old school like golden round it just didn't even match with the other two when they, they was first like data mined and posted and i thought it, yeah i mean yeah you've got like the harpoon gun cool i mean yeah these are these are neat. Again, like I have a version of that bow, you know, I have, yeah, I have a ver they're all right. They're fine. Yeah. Uh, Goblin in the chat says, is it an issue that uh, these are racial themed rather than class themed? And um, I mean, the, the, mm. the shaman one is, is very explicitly kind of troll themed. Yeah, I get that. Um, but I've got to say, I don't really see that with uh, the other ones. I mean, mm. the monk one is, racially themed but not for a playable race <laughs> like right. it's mogu right yeah, and, and sure. so you know that's the same for everyone yeah. I, I guess so I, I wouldn't class that as like oh these are racially themed you mean like that's designed for one playable race and i don't think that's really the case with the monk one um i can't really see it with with the others either to be honest um but i mean i'm i'm I, like if, if if people think that they are i don't really see how any of them are, are racially themed apart from the shaman one which sure. definitely is yeah, uh yeah yeah like obviously gonna work really really well on trolls um well surely that suggests that there will be different ones coming out in addition to different color sets maybe another mm, round of armor oh you sets. think well i mean i feel like they've got to give so these have got to go in the rotation enough they do. that if people do want to buy everyone mm -hmm. they've feasibly had the chance to do so right mm -hmm. i feel like yeah and that means we're looking at these coming round three times minimum before they're kind of like replaced by other ones. Right. And considering there's two different versions of each, you know, there's like an alternate color for each one, which will also have to pop up. We're talking about like overall six rotations. Mm -hmm. We're starting to get like, so this month in the trade, have you seen the trading post this month, by the way? I have, yeah. And what's your favorite thing on it? Well, the the like the the blood troll thing is super cool. Yeah, so that's like, the but you you don't always get your traveler's so, log. Shh, shh, stop. Did you get your last traveler's log? Did you get the grove I dragon? Um, yes. Did you? Definitely, hundred percent. Did absolutely. you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Tally, this is not the time and place. What the, I mean, sorry, so our podcast about WoW <laughs> isn't the time or place to be discussing this. Are you sure? I am getting the blood troll set because it's really cool. Even though I don't play trolls like they, i just think it's so sick <laughs> love it i'm, I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna hit that goal i'm gonna get it okay cool awesome brilliant uh, but uh have you looked at the actual kind of the things you can what buy with your attendees uh so you've got there's some sick uh shields with okay. like spikes on no nice. good for you i guess oh um, is there a flail is, is there a flail coming so back? this is what yeah the okay. flail from the first month nice is back um, which I didn't is, get it the first time around, so here I come. Exactly, and there are uh, there are two cloaks uh, scarf combos. Yeah, uh, nice. this, there's uh, the theme is like horde versus alliance, right? So yeah. there's a lot of a red and a blue version mm -hmm. of stuff. So there's mm -hmm. the red version of the scarf, the blue version of the scarf, um, and 
likewise weapons like there's a red axe and a blue version of the same axe there's like a horde shield and an alliance shield and they can be used by anyone right mm -hmm. so um that's really cool too uh but yeah we are starting to see a, a couple of repeats in there um okay. you know like the flail isn't the only Six repeat months in, right? yeah so well is it march five, june february march. march april may june, june. july August. Oh, yeah, six months. Yeah. So it looks like, yeah, we're kind of at the stage where thing you'd expect things to be repeating a little bit now. Mm -hmm. We know there's still like loads of different colors of, of scarves and cloaks. We know there's like, um, oh, thank you uh, for the uh, <laughs> the five dollars for the corsage pack oh. and only the corsage. In <laughs> fact, I, I don't even want the tendies. You can have them, right? <laughs> I just want those sweet, sweet wrists. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you got the long gloves in like red and blue and stuff okay, as well cute. yeah yeah cute. and it is cute but yeah i think we're at the stage where things are starting to repeat a little bit now mm -hmm. so um that's why now is when they've introduced these and if that means we're on a six month rotation this is what i was getting at sorry if that means we're on a six month rotation generally for stuff mm -hmm. then you're looking at four months to go through this once and then another four months to go through it with the other color schemes mm -hmm. and then another four months to go through it again so we can buy like mm -hmm. so four times three you're That's looking at year. it yeah, yeah yeah you're looking at uh, these lasting a whole year before they're replaced probably wow okay. um, if 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 they're gonna be like yeah you should be able to get everything you should be able to buy all of these if you want them wow. and i yeah. mean that is that is uh, and that's working on assumption yeah. you can only buy one armor and weapon set per month because like functionally that is all you can mm -hmm. buy like, unless of course unless. there are lots of other ways of getting tendies later who, on who right? knows but but also it's a way of being like well you'll be here in a year won't you <laughs> well yeah won't well, you like don't forget there's only six more months to go until you get the night elf warden set oh, oh not for you because you haven't completed your traveler's log every single month hush tally when everyone else is right oh evie Stop this. Evie. You're, 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 you're airing my no, dirty I've, laundry I've, up I've here. I've only just thought about this. Yeah, okay. When everyone else is running around with their warden sets. I'm not going to be playing Night Elf. I'm like hardcore evoker. It's not going to be know? just Night Elf though. It's going to be for everyone. Yeah, shh, so you're going to log in one day mm -hmm. and it will be like, it will, it will be like the sea of Night Elf walker, wardens, uh, wardens <laughs> and just you, this absolute nerd without your warden set in God, the middle of it giving me like high school flashbacks tally oh i'm, I'm so be... <laughs> sorry like missing out on the grove like dragon is one thing right but oh man that sucks i'm so sorry that really sucks i will live i will live isn't that sad oh, it is it is desperately sad can i do I... a twitch thing on our like on our, on our podcast how do you do a twitch thing f's in chat Oh, F's in chat for Evie. You can't do F's in chat on YouTube. Well, I, well, we'll see if we can or we can't. This is the <laughs> real. This is the real uh, podcast drama right here. This is the real controversy of the first episode. You know, I think the real drama is the fact that you haven't had a haircut in about six months. I haven't. No, I, it's true. I am looking. <laughs> Don't you like it? I love it. You told me you liked it. Now, you, did you wait until we had a thousand people watching us before you were like, actually, it sucks. You're dumped. No, I like it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm I just trying that. to. I'm just trying to produce a jibe back at you now that you have reminded me. About yeah, the I'm so sorry. Stuff. Would you like me to not fill out my traveler's log for a couple of months so we're in the same boat? You work out. Would you like, do that for me? I love you, and I will do that for you. No, and don't. not this month because I really want the trolls. Yeah. Up. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but if you can sit down and work out exactly how many travelers logs you've missed yeah. and i promise oh, wow. not to tell anyone it will remain our secret Thanks. me and you it just will just us. be hey, i better not tell anyone because i won't believe you anyway <laughs> you tell me how many travelers logs you missed and i will give serious consideration to uh missing some travel logs so we can be in the same boat when it comes to the warden set what do you think about that you know what i'll think about it I'll think about it. Yeah, I'll yeah. do that. Thanks thanks for that extremely generous offer. Tally. Yeah, and I'll wait oh, until... Oh, there was one that I didn't really love. There was yeah. one which had a bit of a rubbish uh, travelers. Oh, the swords? I'd have missed the swords happily. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you remember the swords? Yeah. The uh, the druids? Uh, not the druid swords. The, uh, oh, the night cool. elf swords. I like have those. I used them? They might as well be corsages. <laughs> I don't really have any... I don't like... You know, they, they are very druid themed and that's really cool. Druids don't use swords. No. Fine. Can't really think of any transmogs permit. I'm you know, glad I've got them. It's I'm, for RP purposes. I am always going to be glad that we've got them. Oh yeah, I will absolutely say I'll, I'll let everyone in the in the, in the Patreon know exactly how many you've missed. 
Oh, thanks. That's kind of our role, right? Is to yeah. air out our dirty laundry and our secrets to our patrons. Well, that's they what get we to pay see for. My tattoos too. So, are we going to have a, a patron Evie stream? Just a stream? Uh, a video. Oh, a video. Sorry, a patron Evie video where you show off your tattoos. Yeah, we're going to do it in the next patron video. Oh my god, are we going to do that tomorrow? Yes. Okay, so we are uh, like I feel like we are coming to an hour and a half of uh, this podcast now, which for uh, for a podcast zero, you know what we managed to do in this podcast? We've had some nice chats. Okay. Well, we did set up. We did our setup, right? Yeah. Well, we did the setup. We've played with these cameras. Like, oh, very nice. Oh, all of this, right? Look at that. Um, Yeah, yeah. We we, we've looked at the news. We've had our. uh, We've shown off our multi cam. Yeah, we We've have. done that. There it kind of has worked, I feel like. Yeah. And and next episode, uh, maybe maybe we'll call the next one episode zero B. Yeah. Zero before we five. kind of jump it. Yeah. And what I really would like to do is to kind of experiment with getting some guest on nice. online because that's gonna be a whole different kettle of fish. I feel like I need to experiment with my angles here because I'm just facing you and I just look a bit like. But that's that's what I podcast is. You got to get out of your out of your content creation looking at the camera thing for this. I do, I do. This is a podcast, right? I so we gotta, look at each other. We're keep talking to each other. To don't worry about face. them. They don't matter. Okay. You like, you know, this is this is you, all about you Just giving your opinions. And, and people you. will listen. If you build it, they will come. The, yes. <laughs> exactly. Huh. Everywhere. Uh, yeah. Whether they like it or not. And they'll be like, I'm so sorry, this doesn't usually happen. And you'll be like, I bet it does. And then be like, should we talk about wow now, please, God? <laughs> <laughs> no, this has been a great. This has been a great try. Uh, session zero. Yeah. Episode zero. So great. here is the idea yeah. uh, with this. What's is, the plan? Tally? Well, the idea is that um, this is going to be like a weekly thing. Mm-hmm. So I, I like the idea of it being on a Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Um, I think having um, guests on is an is an, it would be awesome and, and I an would important thing. Love that. Yeah. Love to get some some new voices and and, and getting guests on less to kind of interview them mm-hmm. like and more to kind of just have them chat about whatever we're chatting about yeah. right and just join in the conversation sort of thing yeah. so um yeah and 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 just like have them as an extra kind of voice on the chat and you know mm-hmm. we can we can I'll, I'll load up an extra screen where we can have their kind nice. of you know camera on the screen and yeah. stuff and you know we'll make it a camera thing because camera is important for a, a video podcast a podcast yeah exactly I if, I, if i wanted it just to be you know like a podcast we could do that could. but I, I love the the video kind of thing it's, obviously it's, it's nice and and you know uh this one we had a lot of news to get through we had a lot of moaning to do uh, so i imagine it might be a, a little different in future ones where we're just chatting about um wow but also some other bits and bobs in our lives yeah, you know yeah yeah so i would um absolutely kind of uh appreciate uh, any kind of feedback that you've got guys that you yeah, want to kind of uh like put in the chat um we will be doing this podcast again on next wednesday yes we will. uh probably a little bit earlier because in the afternoon we'll be playing Baldur's gate just like and this, I mean, this took me about four hours to set up today, but it was the first time. It was. And there was a lot that went wrong. It did. I'm really sorry. We're going to have to get you a new camera. No. I know, I know you don't I'm want crushed. it, but I'm we're crushed. going to have to get a new camera. What if we keep that camera and mm. we use a different camera for this? But all of the problems that people are seeing on my screen right now. Yeah. Like you have never noticed this because you never watched the VODs. No. But you get them on your, uh, on your Twitch streams I as well. Know. Yeah, okay, I'm really, fine. really sorry. Okay, fine. We can, we can. Yeah. We so we are going to be playing Baldur's Gate 3 on Twitch. Yes, we are. Uh, all next week. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm hopefully going to get a weekly reset out on the weekend as well. We always have uh, videos on our second channel of Twitch highlights as well. So I wonder if, uh, I wonder if Baldur's Gate stuff will appear on there. Who knows? Ooh, maybe it yeah. will. Yeah, I'll have a little chat with our editor about that. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and of course, with the video being on YouTube, you guys um, Evie's mic needs to go about 5%, 10%, maybe. No, Evie just needs to like, move I just her need to put face my mouth closer to the mic. To yeah, the mic. yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Like I say, I'm, I'm, that, I'm, that was, that was going to be in my feet, in my notes after the show. Notes. It's like, oh, yeah, also yeah. I might need to get a cushion. <laughs> <laughs> You've got three right next I to you. Know, I know, I know. I, as much as I love this banquette, I, I need to uh, do some cushion positioning. This, yeah. this is all to be ironed out. So we've got. Uh, so yeah, uh, we will be part of the Baldur's Gate drops because I, I, I think they're just anyone streaming Baldur's Gate. Yeah, you get a pair of like pants. Oh, sweet, which I'm mean, like my favorite pants. thing. Like, you get, you literally get a pair of pants. Um, yeah, I love pants because I like, I like going. Won't be needing those. <laughs> Woo! It's D and D, fam. Uh, this is another reason why you shouldn't always try and look at the camera. By the way, is because it moves your face away from the. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. And people are complaining, okay. so I know. If, if you I'm won't sorry. Hear it from are, me, are people complaining? Maybe hear it from are them. Are people yeah. complaining? I'm not allowed to look at chat, so how would well, I know? Like again, that's another reason why yeah, that does again take your face away from the mic. I, 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 do you want me to like? Tally gonna hook up with a bear. <laughs> 
Is that better? Is that better? On that's the that's why I go out with Evie, right? <laughs> um, yeah, just don't be afraid of that microphone, Evie. I'm not just afraid get, of like, it. I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually just like force you to watch a load of video podcasts and you can see how close people are to the mics. I know, those, I know right? they are, like, but um, I, I, like, I don't want to be the podcast guy. Do you well, know what I mean? Like, but that means you don't. Two dudes doing people, a podcast. But that means people can't hear you though, Evie. I know. I like know. what you're doing right now, I know, you can't I know. hear that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you can't hear <laughs> like, it. I will get better at, at my podcast persona. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you know, I know you won't hear it from me. So maybe, maybe hear it from the chat, right? I will. Because if I tell you that. what to do, you get annoyed. It's true. Tally cannot tell me what to do. He needs to like very gently, uh, like maybe even like a written note or something that like comes through the post. Like, yeah, from like an anonymous, anonymous source, source. Right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's be like carefully planted and be like, hmm maybe <laughs> yeah yeah it's true. um uh, but like uh yeah it's just like uh you know whatever man uh um it, because i a, a thing i've noticed is that yeah the further away your face is from the mic yes m- the more my voice picks up on your mic that's very and you get more echoey um, okay i promise to, stuff like that. i promise uh, so very, very just, i know everyone mic. can hear right I wasn't know. there a sub goal recently to get every new camera yeah but we didn't hit the sub goal ah. So, like, kind of your fault. We'll get, we'll get the new camera anyway, right? We will. Got, it's got to be done. We absolutely will. <laughs> like, um, what's the best way to get Fizzle Whizzle in 1015? Wait, is that something that people want? Fizzle Whizzle? Okay, I thought, I thought mm-hmm. that, honestly, and no, the Pell mics would be terrible for a, for a podcast because they are, like, omnidirectional, right? Mm-hmm. You want you want very directional mics for a podcast, right. like to minimize if, with two people in the same room. Mm-hmm. Like you don't want you don't want the power mics. That'd be you know you can watch some of our old uh, Final those. Fantasy chat yeah. videos for that. It just picks up like too much of They're... the other person because you're sitting next to each other yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah. it's not it's just not ideal. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Evie sounds better than Tally in my opinion. Well, that's because you're Elbardo. <laughs> Thanks, Elbardo. <laughs> uh, but people, maybe we'll have a, a discussion about Fizzle Wizzle Power later on. Maybe we will. Uh, we've done that in another video. Maybe so, we will. I don't know. Um, oh, do we have to? Can we just talk about like things that make you feel good? Yeah. Now? Can episode 0B, 0.5 be uh just about stuff that's making us feel like giving us really the warm fuzzy wuzzies and all wow. right well okay I'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you something that i like about um, what do you like wow right now mm-hmm. uh have you have you been to the trading post since it opened this month not this month no okay so you will notice that right now the trial of style is on yes okay and there's a new thing with the trial of style there are six little kind of hologram things on the floor okay and they show you winners of the trial of style no that have just happened. you can be immortalized so there are like six kind of uh characters in yeah. poses like on on like the hologram things in their winning transmogs okay that's adorable and, it's amazing uh, like you need to log is, in right that now you need to, you need to yeah you that's need to, need to have, have a little this, walk around you need to have a little look yeah um and uh admire them and and like you'll it. watch and they'll disappear and like a new one will come up and stuff like that yeah Oh, and I and I bet I will get some some tendies, get some points towards my traveler's log if I just. Uh, I think a, you can a, emote a at one of them if you yeah. if you slash or at yeah. one of them. Aww. I think you get like twenty points towards nice. your ten towards your traveler's log. Okay, I'm don't in. miss I'm in. the blood troll. You need to get on. You need to come on. You need to come troll. on like a raid night. You need to. Uh, no, I know that's the thing. The thing like, we need to thing, run some mythic plus. Stuff the thing like that, that is killing me is that I'm I'm really just kind of um slacking on group content because I'm just like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah as the game has made it nice and easy for me to just like dive in and do solo stuff like i'm not i'm not doing dungeons and i'm not doing raids and i'm not i'm not even doing like lfr so i'm just not i'm just not getting those so i just i just gotta get on it gotta pick up yeah. the pace and that's how i get mine like filled out automatically exactly. without even thinking about yeah, it you do. like a project i've been meaning to do for ages is i want to fill out my traveler's log in like the most fun way possible nice because every month it just happens i don't even think about it because yeah, i'm always a, like doing yeah. raids and, and mythic plus yeah. and stuff and like there are some really interesting things that you can do to yeah. for that like, you travel as long like go fishing in Dranor, mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. um and uh like doing whatever the holidays are and stuff mm-hmm. like that and i think that's a really awesome uh like way of filling out your traveler's log and i'd really like to do that one month but i have to get a raid night and we're oh. going to kill 10 bosses and that's going to be like 200 points right there. So it's like, I'm like, I have to get it, all those things done really quick. Really good way of getting uh, uh, points this month yeah. will be to do the Calendar Cup. Oh, I'm in. I'm yeah. in. So we we have the opposite problem. So I, I should make it my goal to get points in the most fun way possible. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to try and do that. Maybe that would be like an Evie stream thing. That actually. would be yeah, me just yeah. getting points. Well, I have drawn up a spreadsheet. 
Uh-oh. for this month Uh-oh. of what I consider to be Uh-oh. the most fun ways to do it. And uh, uh, a few of them are based around trial of style. Here's okay. the thing. But trial of style is only on until week. like Monday or Tuesday yeah. or something. Okay. So uh, okay. got to be quick. And then the calendar cup is only on for like a few days as well. Right. Or okay. like a week or maybe maybe two. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, but either way, if you want those points for your traveler's log, of you're going to have do. to. Yeah, exactly. Of course I do. So um, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's worth bearing in mind for sure. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. Hey. I won't bother making that video then. That can be your video. You, know you can make that one. That I will. Um, yeah. That has that has left me uh, feeling a little more inflated after the deflation of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, when I saw that around the back of the trial of style, <laughs> when I saw that, my first thought was Evie would love this. Totally at my. Evie would be all over this. Yeah. Like yeah, I mean, yeah I like I like I'm just. I'm literally I, logging in now and checking and it out. I, like I say, right? We've talked a lot today about. What is essentially, I know, a, a tale as old as time. Mm. Don't copyright me for that amazing singing. Um, but I have, we've been talking a lot about, you know, what is essentially corporate greed and stuff like that. And it's it's kind of easy to forget. In a roundabout way, we have you. And, and I think, I think like the, that thing with showing the winners from the trial of style. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know this for sure, but I bet that like some random dev just came up with that as an idea mm -hmm. and said it in a meeting one day. And was like, yo, how about we have a thing where it shows and and like someone was like, uh, yeah, if you can make it happen, make it happen. Yeah. And I bet that dev worked weekends and like after work and stuff in their own time mm. because they just thought it was a cool idea. And just wanted to make and it just happen. made it happen. And that's like a great example of, you know, like how much the people that make the game care about the game and, oh, yeah. and and like the little details and how much they put into it of their own time mm -hmm. um and and that's kind of like the opposite of what we've been talking about today so i think that's a, like a, a really nice way to kind of you know it wrap is. it up and, and, and end, end on day, a high note yeah that is that's why i play well it's for that stuff for those little details that the devs for play. the little things yeah yeah, yeah for yeah, the yeah. little things that make me feel good and playing with my friends playing a video game with my friends. And for that dopamine hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Awesome. Well, I think that was a good... Uh, I think that's about as as good as a, 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 an episode zero you can know, possibly I, be, I, right? I, I think I think we've done pretty well. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I need to sort this camera angle out as well. Me too. I'm gonna have to sort out my outfits too. God, yeah. No, you look great. Maybe wear a bra next time. Uh... <laughs> Listen, I've got a, t a healing tattoo. I will never let you wear a bra. <laughs> We've established precedent. This is a braless podcast from now on. Yeah, what about you? Are you going to wear yours? Uh, <laughs> never. <laughs> Do you not hear what I just said? <laughs> no bra podcast. Although I, I did notice like, with this camera, I'd like to, I've talked for a long time about maybe getting something in front of this desk. Oh yeah, you know. Like, we, we so you don't like, there. you don't see my little chicken legs the whole time. You're because I, oh, I had to wear trousers, which I wouldn't usually do. Well, I know when, when, uh, when we were setting up this shot, Tally was like, Oh, don't worry about it. You you can only see you from the waist up. So good thing I actually wore pants because I would have. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about this shot. So, oh. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, don't worry about it. No, no one, no one can see. Anything. Yeah, totally. And so, yeah, yeah. We need to sort out the. Uh, we need to get like a, a slightly more consistent look on the different cameras. Yeah. Uh, I think like... I want somewhere to put like a cup of coffee. Oh something. yeah, you deserve a little table. I do. You know well, what? Like, this is, this is, got... I think this is what's killing me. What about me? this chair? You've got, you've what about got... this chair that we have on the? Uh, yeah. Yeah. For, let's for use the, the chair. arcade machine. Because you've got you've got the the at the desk stance down, and I I yeah. have that stance too. I'm just not sure what to do with my body. I'm like, I'm just, just gonna sit like this. Yeah, well, yeah. Like, you, but then you I'm too far yourself, from the mic, Tally. Well, would it help if we turned you uh, the sofa around a little bit as well, so you're facing me a bit more? Could be. Would that help? Could we, be. We, we can. But pivot I like, around. I like the occasional like glance at the other cameras too. No, no, yeah. this is okay. I know you do. I'm yeah, just gonna. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm just. We're we're gonna work on this. Yeah, definitely. Okay. But I think that's. Uh, I mean, it worked. Yeah. Because uh, well, we scared. <laughs> this is really funny. We uh like there was obviously quite a long intro screen before we started the stream today because yeah. I scheduled it last night. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Let, that. I saw that, and I was it. like, we agreed we were gonna do it, and I'm gonna schedule it so it happens. And I was like, you know, people can be notified about this no and it will pop up and it, and it will be there and mm -hmm. for a podcast that's got, I, hate, I wouldn't do that for like a video or something but i like doing it for know. a podcast and it's like yeah awesome cool brilliant but then and so you know people were watching come 2 p.m our time which went going live mm -hmm. and i was suddenly like how do we start how do we streaming? i know tally was like how how do i make the stream start I'm like, what do you mean? Like, he's like the... how do we 
how do we go live? And I was like, how do I got everything set up. I got the lights, I got a cool <laughs> lantern there. I got all the cameras set up. I got it all so, you know, I can control the screens and stuff from buttons on my desk, even though the PC is all the way over there. I've got everything on the screen over there so I can actually like bring stuff up on the screen as well. Like, oh, I thought so hard about it. And every, every, oh, every, every tiny eventuality that you could possibly I know, think I know. of, every tiny little thing I had thought of and I had taken care of. I know you did. Apart from how do you start the stream? And I was there and like two, 2 p.m. was like, you know, kind of creeping up. It was creeping up. And I was like, people are watching. They're already watching. People are already commenting. What are we going to do? And then it just it just went live automatically. Yeah. Yeah. It just does that. Uh, um, well, no, it, uh, it kind of did. But uh, like I had to like start streaming from OBS mm -hmm. and then it but it didn't start streaming straight away. No, it didn't. Until the scheduled time. And, and that was actually kind of cool. That was uh, some nifty, like good way of starting yeah. on time all the time. So yeah. anyway, brilliant. Happy days. Yeah, Thank you for joining us today. Do you want to sell our T-shirts? Yeah. Um, oh, we've got some cool T-shirts. Uh, I haven't loaded. I haven't prepared a picture of these. No, we don't have graphics sorry. ready. But uh, if if you check it out on our shop, which you can find on our website, which you can find in links to descriptions of our videos, hopefully in the link to the description in this video as well. Oh, maybe I should have done that. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, in the future. <laughs> in the future. Uh, but check them out. We've we've got a uh, there are no old gods at BlizzCon T-shirt, which I I have I have designed. Thank you very much. Uh, because there will be no old gods at BlizzCon. Every designs all of our merch mm -hmm. so just bear in mind that every time you buy some of our merch you make me feel good i'm happy about it but it, it, it's evie that you're really making yeah happy. it's literally you 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 support an indie artist <laughs> i would never call myself that but um yeah uh you you, you support us uh and also they're pretty cool we've we, we've had someone tweet out a picture of them wearing one in the wild and like oh yeah it actually looks great pretty good because you never know listen with like kind of internet distributors for merch like you never know the quality really thankfully uh teespring has been okay we're, we're thinking about shifting to a different platform but that's another story for another time yeah. um but do check it out there are no old gods at blizzcon we should make variations yeah like there's no old gods in london <laughs> yeah there are no, there are no old gods in i think dragonflight would be in a, dragonflight yeah yeah probably. no old gods in dragonflight yeah well, I've very or much. Are there? I've really enjoyed using this this camera switcher today as well. You know what? You've you've I'm, really, I'm really awesome. proud of you. I yeah. mean, you know, like obviously, what we need is a technical person in yeah, here. Yeah, we, we need a producer. Like we do, we do need a producer who's going to say it, but we can't afford that. No. <laughs> but thank you to everyone who did do like a, I guess a super chat. What I need to do is I need to load uh, the I need to get into the, like the back end on this screen. Yeah, you always so I can get go the through end, like the the super chats and stuff. Just having the chat open isn't enough. I need to yeah. I need to be on like the analytics and stuff and yeah, to we'll be able to go on that, on that screen so I can Yeah, go time. through super chats and things like that. Um but guys, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah a learning a, a learning process and it's been it's been super fun to do that. I've um, had a good so time. so thank you. Thank you for everyone who joined us for this episode 0. Um and yeah, more more structure uh more more everything from now on it'll be really good more everything totally enjoyed it yeah me it too. Worked. it worked it worked now remember when i finish the stream uh -huh. or when i go on to like the stream finishing uh screen i have to physically even though they'll only be able to see like the stream finishing screen mm -hmm. i actually have to get up and i have to physically go over to the pc to turn off the stream <laughs> Yeah, and also turn off the microphones. Yeah, so um So like I <laughs> gotta watch myself. You're allowed to like like say whatever you like to me. I, and I I mean sexy stuff, because yeah. that's what always happens. After I've been bottling streaming. it up this yeah, stream like, telling. Oh, when we're when we're doing Twitch streaming, honestly, like the second I finish stream, Evie's like in there saying sexy stuff. She's like, Can yeah, I say yeah, the yeah. sexy stuff now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to say the sexy stuff. So just all I'm saying is hold off that until I've had a chance to go and turn off the mics and, and turn off the stream properly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I will, I'll try. Something might slip out. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay. Guys. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, I can't you. wait to see you next week. Come and join us on stream for Baldur's Gate 3. I think we'll do some giveaways and stuff like that. And, and we've got a Twitch uh, um, sub goal going um, uh, at What's the our moment sub goal as well. This month? So the sub goal is, uh, a tiny bit higher than usual, but okay. it's for me to get a tattoo. <gasps> no! A Baldur's Gate tattoo. <gasps> well, look, show oh. show everyone your, your new wrist tattoo again. Well, got, and like, that's here. the little one. That's the tiny that's one, That's the right? little okay. one. Can you, can you like give, explain what that one's all about real okay, quick? Okay, so this one uh, is a, this is a reference to, in case you haven't heard, my favorite book of all time, which is The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. Le Guin. Uh, this is the word fin or fan 
French uh, for end. Sorry. Uh, it, uh, it's from uh, her manuscript, her first manuscript, handwritten for the left hand of darkness. This is the last page. Uh, and she ends it like this. And uh, I saw that on like a blog about uh, an archivist who's going through her stuff. And I just fell in love with it. Also, it just looks like this kind of cool like sigil. Like you wouldn't know what it means. It just looks like these scribbles. Um, and also, as I pointed out oh, before you got it done. Yeah. It's like on your left hand. It is on my left hand. Uh, and it is, yeah, this is my, my second tattoo that I've ever gotten because my first one is really cool, but only patrons get to see that oh, one. Oh, was that one the first one you got on your side? And then you yeah. got the rest, oh, I just assumed you got the rest first. Oh yeah, no, 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 I got the big boy first. Wow. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so Tally, you're going to get another tattoo because we are obviously Well, I was so inspired by yours. Yeah. Well, apart from anything, you had a nice day out in Bristol, which I'm a bit jealous of. Oh my God, of. I loved it and I loved... I loved actually getting the tattoo, like yeah. the, the experience, like for anyone who has one, like I was just like blissed out and I was like, hmm, mm. I get why people do this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. can, we, can we vote for the tattoo? Uh, we will, uh, we'll have one sub goal to like get the tattoo mm -hmm. and then another one we'll have to set another where one. maybe you can vote for the tattoo. Ooh. But I don't think we'll hit the That's... sub goal for the tattoo, but uh -huh. I would, I, I would gladly get a Borders Gate 3 tattoo. Uh, having not played the game, but I'm just sure it's going to be good. Because you're going to, we're going to have a good time. Cool. It's going to be a D and D campaign exactly. for us, right? And it's right? going to be like a memory of uh, of our D and D campaigns. I mean, I exactly. as I, as we've been recording this, I've been staring at the picture of or the portrait of our original D and D party it's right with there. our right there wait, with, wait, our, wait, wait, wait. with our characters and with uh, our DM. Oh, I love it. Our, with our DM, uh, our buddy Lachlan, literally uh, like gazing out. This is our. This is our. Uh, yeah. This, this is our our D and D party. This is Look our original that. D and D party from our uh, our D and D game that went on for about two and a half years. Yeah. Uh, before but before we moved here, and we did continue a little bit, but then it just kind of we tried to do it online and we, well, with with uh, the world situation, pandemic situation as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Uh, so we've got like our amazing OG party: Penrin, Siri, Rinwin, and Rain. Yeah. Uh, and oh my god it's just at, just out of control but hopefully when we're doing our Baldur's, Baldur's Gate stream some of our kind of original uh, team might be able to hop on stream uh, and oh, that uh, would be the dream control one of our party characters that's going to be so we cool that, we've, we've so. already yeah Izzy says she might be able to jump on yes. and like be yes. part of the party oh, that would be I, so I would awesome be I would anyway. love it yeah really really good so yeah we'll have a, we'll have a sub goal because you know a Baldur's Gate 3 tattoo is essentially a D&D &D tattoo right Yes, you know, it is what I'm kind what of counting is. on. A I'm little not bit. sure how I feel about opening up to uh, people deciding. Maybe we can have a vote. If, if people decide, divisions. then it's gonna. If we just let people decide, it's gonna be me getting fucked by a bear. <laughs> like if if that's what's gonna happen. If we open that, look, okay. I've 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 streamed. I've been in this business for a while <laughs> now. Okay. If we're like, yeah, you can vote for my tattoo. It's gonna be Tally getting ravished, ravished, absolutely destroyed by a bear. And you know, I'm not saying that's a bad tattoo necessarily, but I'd like it to be. I'd like there to be other options. <laughs> All right. I'd like. I like there to be some options in there that weren't me getting absolutely ripped apart by a bear, as it were. <laughs> And like, yeah, oh. so, so I maybe, yeah, it would be okay. good to have some different options. And yeah. my thinking is, yeah. right, if, if we do reach that, that goal and, and, you know, I do end up getting a tattoo. Yeah. Um, then I get the feeling that there will be some obvious candidates about what that tattoo would be from our playthrough. Mm -hmm. This is what I love about the idea of the, of the, of the, uh, the, the playthrough anyway, and, and, and streaming it with the two of us. There are so many different options in that game and so many oh. ways the story can go. You can almost kind of like watch someone else's stream and not even be spoiled really for I your own playthrough, which yeah. I think is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have some giveaways and stuff. I, I, I don't think many people watch those streams. That's why I'm pushing them so hard, but like, yeah, come and join us. See how there. we play D and D see my bard, see your, uh, your sorcerer. sorcerer. Oh man, it's going to be so nice. What if amazing. the bear is gentle? Uh, then I'm not interested. <laughs> what if it's like Winnie the Pooh? Like you want to fuck Winnie the Pooh? I don't. This is my thing. I don't. Someone just said gentle and like that's what, what I think. And that was your say, first Jill. thought? No. <laughs> no. Like, anyway. Is that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really gentle with you tonight. What, like Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> Ruined again. See you next anniversary. 
uh, okay. I think we have been wrapping up. This We've been wrapping up for a while now. For uh, guys, enough. thank you. We will see you for Borders Gate streaming. We will see you next week for the next episode of a WoW podcast obviously we'll get like oh no we've already got mega music and stuff uh yeah if Do you like do? if you like our uh, intro screen um and our end screen which you can be seeing any second now uh then uh all the love to mego who's in the chat right now We'll put links uh, in the description uh, to to uh, that and her work, like we do on Twitch as well. Uh, and the music, which was done by Jay the Tavernbard. Yeah. We commissioned the music specially. We did. Uh, and we, you've heard that in our videos and stuff before yeah, as yeah. well. So thank you for joining us. Until Thanks next time, guys. from me, Taliesin. And the Evertel. Cheerio. Now remember, Evertel, don't say anything. Oh my God. Be that's... really quiet. Shh. Really? Shh. Is this quiet enough? <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently so. Yeah. Is it? Oh, now am you I, move. Am now I quiet, you move. Am I quiet enough now? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, God, that's massive. <laughs>